It was a bright, sunny day with white clouds. The school with a tall and magnificent building was attended by many outstanding students. That morning, all the students began to do all their activities, laughing with each other, talking about something both in class and outside the classroom. Before starting class, they chose to talk about something funny. Even female students take the time to beautify themselves in class. But there is one student named Gangu Choi. He is just an ordinary middle school student. Maybe it can also be said as an unusual student. His days in class are always playing games on his cell phone with earplugs as if he doesn't care about the surroundings. Gangu Choi feels that he is nothing more than an otaku and a loner. No one like him is better than anyone else. Gangu even likes to be left alone. The quarrel game on his cell phone made Gangu enjoy himself until he finally won the game and shouted loudly. That day, Gangu had won the game he was playing ten times and had even experienced a losing streak too. It felt like everything he had felt that day was possible because Gangu had played the game all his life. But Gangu's playing skills were obviously very high, and also Gangu was not a complete enjoyer. In the same class, Gangu has one friend who often talks about games and stuff with him. They have the same interests and even always play games in class. The friend sat in the classroom right in front of Gangu's desk. None other than talking about games with a face that looked happy. But suddenly there were several students from other classes who came to disturb the bully friend. They laughed, saying that they were seeing Otaku swaying at that time, while teased Gangu's friend, who was focused on playing the game. They immediately took the cell phone of his friend, who was busy playing the game, to make him feel annoyed. The child had asked for the phone back, but they didn't want to return the phone and kept playing. They knew that the boy had always lost the game, so it was very tiring to see the gang playing the game all day. But the boy just begged for his phone back because he was at a very important stage. Did not want anyone to stop him, so asked them to return the cell phone immediately. They did not understand the nonsense that came out of his mouth at that time. Making them still do not want to return the cell phone instead beat him, kicking and punching in the classroom as if bullying. The boy was very upset and asked them to stop it. Unexpectedly, they dared to break the boy's cell phone on purpose. The boy couldn't do anything and was obviously shocked, but one of them laughed with a happy face. Even though there was no intention to turn off the cell phone, but it seemed to be done without any purpose at all. They just laughed as if they didn't know how to do that. The child could only be silent looking down with a very sad, whimpering face, not knowing how they could do that to him. Suddenly the child felt upset and very badly wanted to take the cell phone. They didn't know how they could do that to him when he had told them that he was at an important stage. But they were shocked when they saw the change in his attitude, as if he had lost his mind. The child was getting more and more classy, trying to snatch the cell phone from their hands. They don't know how hard they have to work to get the victory of the game. All their actions will never be forgiven by the boy. His face was already getting angry with high anger, wanting to snatch the cell phone. The cell phone was not returned with them and still continued to attack the boy. They did not expect that the boy dared to act like that. His behavior seemed to want to get closer to death and made them furious. Suddenly one of his friends punched the boy until he fell out of his chair. They clearly felt annoyed because of the gang's attitude that insisted on asking for the cell phone as if the child did not understand where he was at that time. The boy had fallen on the floor with a face of pain, and they were still torturing him to the point of endlessly kicking his body. That's what otaku games are supposed to get, and it's certain to get that treatment. Gangu could only look at his friend, who was tortured by several students. Even though in that class, Gangu only had the only friend who was always with him. After a few hours at school, it was time for them to return home. It was getting dark with a beautiful orange sky. Gangu walked back home with his classmates. On the way, Gangu could only stare at his face, which looked pale and full of wounds. Gangu felt very sorry for his friend, who continued to be tortured for no reason. Gangu questioned his condition at that time if it might be okay. Because when in class, Gangu class saw himself being bullied by several students, the boy just laughed, saying that he was fine. Everything that happened to him was really normal, especially since he was always considered trash. Actually, the child doesn't care if he is beaten like that. It's just that all the game data on his phone must have been corrupted because of them. It feels like the boy can't say if he's really relieved or not. What they did was so out of line that it was unforgivable. 
Gangu laughed because of his attitude that still prioritized games over himself. Fixing his glasses, the boy felt that he had to go home immediately and checked if the game data on his phone was okay. But Gangu encouraged him to play the game again if he had to lose all the data. There is no need to be afraid of all the data that will be lost. They had to separate on the road because of the different direction of the house. Gangu immediately waved at the boy Hyeonjun. Gangu even reminded him not to let that day destroy him. Gangu will see him again tomorrow. They had to separate from the trip and return to their respective homes. During the trip, Gangu was still thinking about everything that happened to Hyeonjun. They seemed to be very mean to him, even though at that time Gangu felt that he was also a loser who could only play games. But he couldn't understand why the other students were only bothering Hyeonjun, as if he was one of the worst people in the school. Was there another reason for it all? Or maybe it was just because they saw Hyeonjun's funny reaction. But it also felt like Gangu was already in a very calm position, so there was no need to worry about anything anymore. Gangu is the kind of person who always stops by the game store on his way home. He intentionally passed by the street where the store was located, but was very surprised when he saw the shop displayed with a sign that was being rented out. Gangu's face was clearly shocked because there was no way the store was suddenly rented out. Gangu immediately ran fast to get into the store. Very upset, Gangu immediately opened the shop door to the surprise of the guard. The guard was very familiar with Gangu who always came to the store. It was true that the guard was cleaning up all the goods to put in the box. The guard only told Gangu because, unfortunately, that day the goods were running out. Gangu really didn't understand what had happened to the store, whereas all this time Gangu thought that the store was running well, but why did they suddenly rent out the place? But that was the only way the guard could do it, because after that week, maybe she could achieve whatever she wanted. Gangu was confused as to whether the watchman had gotten everything. She needed to rent out the shop. But Gangu felt very disappointed when the shop was actually closed. Gangu had always come to the shop since elementary school when he was very young. In fact, Gangu always stopped by the shop every day on his way home from school. The guard just smiled faintly like it was so true that even she felt disappointed. Gangu is one of the true customers in the store. Even if you look at Gangu, he is very mature now. From his body that was still very small to the height of the bookcase, all the goods in the store have been packed up, but there is still one shelf left. Before the store closed, it was annoying to want to look at other collections that he didn't have yet, while paying attention to the one bookshelf that was still left. But when searched, it is true that there are not many more items left in the store. Even if you look at it, Gangu already has a lot of one of them. So, Gangu saw what his last purchase might be a new collection. Of course, all the items were out of stock because many of the items were sold over the weekend. So, after some items ran out, the guard did not buy any more to complete the collection. It seemed that Gangu looked very disappointed when he knew that the store really had to close. To not make Gangu feel sad, the guard wanted to recommend a game for Gangu. Gangu was surprised that there might be a new game, but Gangu already had most of the big games on his phone's display. The guard just chuckled that it was actually just a normal mobile game. Gangu was surprised when the guard sold the mobile game in her shop. It seemed impossible that there was such an item, and Gangu even wanted to download it himself from his cell phone. But unfortunately, the game could not be downloaded from his cell phone. The game provided by the shopkeeper can only be downloaded via QR code. The guard immediately gave one game paper that already had a QR code visible, with real-world cellular writing that makes Gangu wonder confused. The guard immediately told Gangu to scan the QR code and download it immediately. That game would certainly be the best game to play with Gangu. So the guard asked Gangu to download the code immediately. Gangu immediately took out his cell phone and pointed the camera at the code to download it. It didn't take long for Gangu to just wait to install the game. After a few minutes, his cell phone rang, and it seemed that the game had been downloaded. The guard immediately told Gangu to return home and try the game. Not forgetting, the guard thanked Gangu for always coming to her shop so far. With a smiley face, Gangu was grateful. That's why Gangu has loved coming to the store since he was a kid. All things gaming is always at their disposal, and they always deliver the best. The game store had been a part of Gangu's life since childhood. 
The game Gangu got back then was one of the goodbye gifts from the store owner. Gangu had no idea how the new game would change his life. It was getting late in the afternoon, and even the sky had begun to darken quickly. Gangu stepped to get home. After passing the trip, Gangu finally arrived home, and his mother immediately told him to clean his body before having dinner together. With a tired face, Gangu listened to his mother and immediately opened the bedroom door. It felt like the day was so tiring for Gangu that it made his body feel sore. His race to school drained a lot of energy. But before taking a shower, Gangu felt like trying a new game on his cell phone. While taking off the school uniform, Gangu opened the game on his cell phone. The game called The Real World made Gangu feel very curious about what exactly the contents of the game were. Gangu has opened the game which makes him feel very confused. All the games recommended by the owner are indeed very fun, but Gangu is very curious about that one game. When just logged in, Gangu got a congratulation for joining the game as the 96th player in the real world game. Seeing that obviously, Gangu was surprised whether there could only be 96 players in the game. The game immediately brought up the procedures to start teaching Gangu how to play the game. Tutorial missions will not be difficult, but rewards and penalties still apply to the game. Gangu was immediately shown the rewards of the game. Must drink 100 liters of water within a one-hour time limit with a mission success prize of $8. If there is a penalty or failure in the game, then the three cups in his house will be broken. Gang was further confused by the meaning of the $8 prize, and even if there was a penalty, the three cups in his house would be broken. It was so confusing that it didn't even make sense. Gangu will start the game in the countdown game immediately started, but Gangu was surprised. The game suddenly started itself clearly made Gangu feel confused about what to do. There weren't even any buttons on the game screen, only the time that kept running. A very confusing game with a really unclear explanation. With a very stupid face, Gangu threw the cell phone on the mattress because it was time for dinner. The game was still on his phone screen with the one-minute clock ticking down. Gangu was already outside the room with his two sisters watching television. But Gangu was still thinking about whether the game was really real while looking at his mother who was mashing spices. There was a lot of noise in the house with laughter coming from the two siblings. Mom had just made them strawberry milk and brought three clear ones for them on a tray. It felt like they had to have a refreshing drink while watching a very exciting movie. But suddenly Mom's foot stumbled and made the three glasses of milk fall over. They were immediately surprised when Mom fell down to make sure she was okay. Gangu was very confused about what had happened in front of his eyes. Mom's leg was completely dislocated, and it was very difficult to walk. The three glasses of milk actually fell on the floor, and all the glasses broke. Gangu felt confused that it couldn't have happened like that. Gangu remembered when he started the game at 5 o'clock, and it was already 7 o'clock. Gangu's face was really scared and didn't even think that all of that could happen. It feels like it's impossible, but everything really happened. If the countdown is in accordance with the rules of the game, it is indeed very appropriate, but it is impossible if it happens in the real world. Gangu was getting confused, not making his body full of sweat pouring out. The glass actually broke right in front of Gangu's face, making him very confused. His two sisters immediately helped their mother and cleaned up the broken glass. But Gangu just stared with a confused face. Seeing Gangu made his sister feel annoyed and asked him to help them. Gangu should not give such a look at a very crucial time. Gangu's sister looked very fierce with a loud voice shouting, and even gave a dirty cloth to clean. But Gangu did not hear his sister's words, and still looked at his with a blank stare. Gangu's sudden departure from his presence made his sister even angrier. They don't know what Gangu was thinking until he chose to run away. There was no way that Gangu was in the rebellious phase or more than that. But Gangu did not care about his sister's words and chose to take refuge in the room. Gangu's body was full of sweat flowing with his breath. Gangu immediately locked the door and saw that his cell phone still had a notification that the mission was available. Without hesitation, Gangu immediately pressed the game button on his cell phone but suddenly gave off a very dazzling light. Suddenly a girl appeared on his cell phone screen, greeting Gangu with a creepy face. The girl named Rika is a person who will provide guidance in playing the game. Rika was happy to meet Gangu, who had just played the game. But again, 
made Gangu feel confused and rubbed his eyes. Rika already knows that Gangu failed to complete his first mission, so the three glasses in his house have been destroyed as a penalty warning. Because the penalties in the game will be applied in the real world, so Gangu must continue to be careful and remember all his parents. Gangu actually already understood even why his mother dropped the glass all because of the new game. Gangu's face was still very pale with sweat that did not stop dripping down his body. Before Rika forgets to tell him one other thing to understand about the game, tutorials do not count in the game so there will be no way to play the game. But if you fail 20 missions later, you will get a game over. The meant he can no longer enjoy the game for further. Players will get up to five missions per day, so Rika asks for help to pay attention to his cell phone every day to be able to carry out the mission. From Rika's movements, there is compulsion for players to be able to complete all the missions. Maybe that's the only explanation that Rika can give, so Rika reminds Gangu to immediately complete all missions. Rika immediately said goodbye for the next mission to be carried out. But there was something Gangu wanted to ask and asked her for a few minutes. But Rika continued to say goodbye, but Gangu shouted to wait. Don't go until his face was very upset. Angrily, Gangu pressed the button to stop the game. Instantly, Rika fell silent, who could probably hear Gangu's words. But suddenly, to his surprise, Rika said goodbye again. Instantly, the game was covered with lost light. Gangu was really confused by the game and didn't even understand what it meant. A very strange game, according to Gangu. Even three glasses can be broken just because of that game. It even feels like Rika on the cell phone can hear Gangu. Because he felt very confused, it felt like Gangu had to immediately see what happened from the game. Increasingly curious, Gangu searched about the real-world game on Google. But when looking at all the game sites, it really wasn't found and didn't even know the clarity. Gangu was really confused because on all sites there was no broadcasting about the game, and not even anything was detected. His face was getting pale, whether maybe Gangu had to delete the game so that his world was safe from everything. Gangu thought of going to the shopkeeper to make sure about the game. It feels like if it continues to be left alone, it will cause problems and Gang can't just stay silent. That night, Gangu rushed to leave and put on his jacket. But when he left the room, his two sisters felt very angry with Gangu who ran away and suddenly wanted to leave. They didn't want to let Gangu go just like that because they had to take turns cleaning and even looking after mom. But Gangu apologized because something very urgent came up. There wasn't much time for Gangu, so he had to leave with a lot of fear as Gangu apologized to his sister. Feeling very sorry when he couldn't help them clean up the mess. Mom just laughed that there was something urgent to do with Gangu. By running fast, Gangu had to get to the store quickly. It was very confusing when the shop owner recommended the silly game to him. With a very fast step, Gangu will ask her what exactly happened. Even what something he will get from the game. Suddenly the cell phone in his pocket vibrates. There is a notification from the real world game. There is a new mission that has been assigned from the real world game must be done immediately. Gangu was immediately surprised that it was impossible to do it right away. But Gangu immediately opened his cell phone and Rika appeared again to greet Gangu. Rika appeared to explain the latest mission to be carried out with Gangu, but for that time, the tutorial that will be given is very different. If you fail the mission, it is clear that you will drop Gangu in a fine, and Gangu will also lose his life, so Rika reminded him of that. Hearing it clearly made Gangu very afraid because he did not know what other missions he had to do. There is only one hour to complete the mission and avoid the destruction of his life. Gang's face was already red with fear that the mission could make him die. If Gangu successfully completes the mission, his body will increase by one inch. But if he fails, one of Gangu's family members will get into a car accident. The game is clearly very killing, not to mention destroying Gang's life. Gangu was really annoyed with the game, but it couldn't be stopped and already got a notification to start the mission. There is only one hour that has started running since then, but Gangu doesn't know what to do can only stare at the running time with a very scared face. It feels like Gangu is very out of his mind to make it like that. With a frightened face, Gangu still continued to stare at the cell phone. Could not say anything, even very confused. Gangu just stood in the middle of the road without daring to continue the mission, because at that time, Gangu had to admit something to the girl he liked, one of the bully girls in their school. 
Gangu really liked that woman, but it was very scary for Gangu to talk to her. All of that really made Gangu lose his mind and couldn't think clearly. Gangu immediately concluded that there was no way the game was real. The broken glass at home was probably all just a coincidence and had nothing to do with the game. Because it seems impossible if the punishment of a game can happen in real life, everything must be just a coincidence. But if Gangu thinks again, it feels very confusing. And what if it really happens? The game time continues to run, but Gangu has not yet walked to complete the mission. The punishment of the mission that time felt very dangerous. Even to try the penalty test is real or not is definitely very dangerous. Gangu gets a mission to confess his feelings to the person he likes. Even though it feels impossible, Gangu must still do the mission. With full confidence, Gangu must admit to Jiseant, but if you keep thinking about it, it's impossible because during his life, Gangu really never admitted anything to anyone. How come the person he likes is a criminal at school and Gangu doesn't even have her cell phone number? All really made Gangu even more confused and didn't know what to do. The only number Gangu has out of all his classmates is Hyeonjun. Even Gangu himself wasn't sure if Hyeonjun had a Jiseant number. Gangu's head felt like it would break if he had to think about all that, but time went on. There was no other way out at that time, so Gangu chose to go to school. Maybe the school would have emergency contacts or other clues that could help him. Gangu really didn't understand why all that happened to him. It felt really impossible to have to go through something like that every day. With long steps, Gangu rushed to the school looking for information. Everyone got hit because they were in too much of a hurry. Arriving in front of the school, Gangu tried to catch his breath because he was very tired, but had to go inside immediately to find information. When he entered the school, there were several students who disturbed Hyunjun. They were confused about what Gangu was doing at school at that hour. But they thought clearly that maybe there was something left to be done. One of them began to show his evil attitude towards Gangu. It felt like a good time to get into trouble with Gangu, because they didn't know what Gangu was going to school for. But one of his friends felt they didn't need to bother Gangu. It was better for them to play billiards, because if they had to interrupt... They wouldn't get any more reaction from Gangu. But that one guy was still watching Gangu from afar, and Gangu did look very rushed. It felt like there was no one more fun to mess with than Heonjun. They chose to leave the school and leave Gangu alone. Gangu went straight into his classroom and looked for Jisian's emergency contact. In one of the rooms, there was a paper attached that made Gangu feel very happy to see it. Surely the school had an emergency contact, and that was one of the ways out. It feels like Gangu really has to pay more attention while at school. Gangu didn't even know that the emergency contact was stuck on the podium table, but immediately Gangu felt that he had to play the game while at rest. From the emergency contact, Gangu had found Jisian's name and immediately wrote it down. Gangu's heart was clearly beating fast, and his face was even redder. For that moment, it was time for Gangu to call Jiseant, but he felt very scared. Gangu's hand didn't dare to call, and it didn't even feel like it could do that. Didn't know what to do with his cell phone. His body was shaking even more, and the sweat didn't stop pouring out. During this time, Gangu never talked to Jiseant. He could only listen. To contact her made Gangu very afraid. His head was getting dizzy and bowed on the table. After never talking, suddenly having to contact and confess all the feelings, it doesn't make sense according to Gangu. With great fear, Gangu tried to convince himself to do it. Tears came out of Gangu with a reddened face. Suddenly, the school guard came to see Gangu's very strange behavior and didn't even know what Gangu was doing at that time. Gangu was very surprised to see him and apologized for his strange attitude. The guard only told Gangu to return home immediately because the school would be closed at that time. Gangu felt embarrassed and immediately left the school. Fortunately, Jizion's phone number was already on his cell phone. It was getting late, but Gangu had not yet dared to call. While looking at his cell phone, Gangu sat in a quiet park. With his face constantly staring at the cell phone, Gangu tried to convince himself that he really had to contact Jizion. If it was said that there would be one of his family in a car accident, it made Gangu feel very scared. Gangu really had to be brave because there was no way that everything could just happen. Although he felt very scared, but Gangu had to do it. Even the time went on, it was impossible to let Gangu just like that. 
Immediately, Gangu imagined the faces of his family who did not want anything to happen to them. However, he had to immediately complete the mission. With full of doubts, Gangu ventured to call. Unexpectedly, his phone was immediately answered by Ji Seont, but still made Gangu very scared. Gangu immediately apologized for disturbing her time, told Ji Seont that he was in the same class, but they never talked to each other. But when she heard Gangu Cho's name, it felt impossible to have a name like that. Instantly made Gangu feel so embarrassed that even Ji Seon didn't know his existence. With a laughing tone, Gangu told her that he was just a person who always played games in the corner of the class, and maybe it was natural that Ji Seon didn't recognize him. Hearing that made Ji Seon remember that Gangu was an otaku game. With a laugh, Gangu replied that all of that was true, but Ji Seon was confused about what Gangu had called her. Don't even know where Gangu got her number. Gangu did not tell that, and immediately wanted to tell his intention. But Gangu's face was getting red and sweating profusely. Jisian's attitude is indeed very creepy. Even hearing the choking tone of Gangu's speech makes her angry. If you don't want Jisian to kick you, you have to say something immediately. With great courage, Gangu said that he liked Jisian. But suddenly, when saying that they lost the signal, Jiseant hadn't had time to hear Gangu's words, but all she did was turn off the phone. She didn't expect a loser like Gangu to recognize Jiseant's beauty. It felt so good when she heard that, but Jiseant wanted to do something that might have to fix what had happened. Suddenly, Jiseant contacted the friend who had bullied Hyunjun and told him everything that happened. Jiseant was very happy because that day she got recognition from several people. But her friends were surprised who had the courage to say that to her. Jiseon felt very beautiful because many people recognized her. But unfortunately, all those people did not know that Jiseon had a boyfriend, and it was a naughty student in class. With great pleasure, that child will bully people who like Jiseon. Without long, Jiseon immediately notified the creepy man sitting at the back of the class, a man who only plays games alone without doing anything. Hearing that clearly made her boyfriend feel upset and didn't even accept that a loser liked his girlfriend. Angrily, the angry ones will kill the builders tomorrow. It is certain that they can really kill Gangu. After the phone went off, Gangu's face was still red and he didn't even think he had said the truth. Fortunately, at that time, Gangu successfully completed his mission and did not get a penalty. But it's impossible if Gangu doesn't find it difficult later. The next mission will still be running and there are still many further missions. Inevitably, Gangu must prepare himself for everything that happens. One mission he just completed clearly made Gangu feel very happy, even though he had to endure embarrassment. After completing the mission, Gangu was still sitting quietly in the park. His face still looks very nervous with all the sweat pouring out. Even though it was all just a game, at least Gangu had the courage to admit everything to Jiseon. But unfortunately, the phone call ended immediately and Jiseon did not contact him again. But immediately Gangu had to realize that someone like him could not necessarily be with Jiseon. But it was not the time to think about Jiseon's feelings. Because it was getting late, Gangu had to go to the game store immediately. The strange game must be completed immediately because it is impossible to continue to make him feel confused. With a confused face, Gangu immediately ran to meet the shopkeeper because he had to talk to her. Whatever happens must know the meaning of the game, even all about the game. Running fast to get there quickly, but was very surprised when he was in front of the shop. The shop really looks empty and locked. Gang was clearly panicking about where the shopkeeper had gone when just yesterday she was packing up. It felt like a lot of questions should arise from Gangu. Not knowing what the purpose of giving the game to him even felt impossible. But there was no way out because the store was completely empty. It was getting late so it felt like Gangu couldn't get any answers. With a weak face, Gangu returned to his house and made them all surprised. His sister was very upset because Gangu had just left without caring about mom's condition. Not the slightest thought whether mom would be hurt by all the broken glass that fell. Then came with a limp face at a late time, as if nothing was wrong. Gangu admitted his mistake and immediately apologized to them for doing that. They felt like Gangu was a great kid. But Gangu could only claim that they clearly didn't understand what he had been through. Even though they continued to be angry, Gangu could only apologize. His sister immediately asked Gangu to come closer, but mom felt that she was fine. 
Mom was not injured at all, so there was no need to be too hard on Gangu. But Gangu's attitude clearly made her feel very upset. Gangu needs to get a lesson so that he doesn't just play games without caring about anyone. Because Gangu did not want to come over, his sister had to pull Gangu's hand. But Gangu felt that all of that was not right and asked to be released from his hand. Even at that time, Gangu's younger sister saw something different happening to him. There were changes that really couldn't be understood, but happened. But Gangu told her not to think strangely. Maybe it just happened because he had too many thoughts. Gangu didn't want to stay with them, just chose to go to the room. But his sister asked Gangu to wait, and looked at his body if Gangu looked taller than before. Because they should be the same height, but at that time Gangu was taller than her. However, the mother felt that it was normal for Gangu to experience body changes and even be taller. He was still young, so he had room to grow taller. But if you look at it, it feels very strange because just yesterday Gangu had the same height as her. Suddenly that day it grew so tall it didn't make sense. But Gangu just laughed and said that Jiseon was just a shadow with all the visions. It felt like his sister's words were ridiculous to hear. Because he felt very tired, Gangu chose to immediately enter his room and apologize to his mother. The door to his room was immediately closed tightly, and everything that happened to him was real. If you look at it all, it's not just a game. Can only stay silent looking at the cell phone with a sad face. The next day was the usual day. Gangu went back to school along with his sister too. But unfortunately, Gangu couldn't sleep all night just because he thought of the game that had haunted his mind. But that day, Gangu had to go back to school walking with his sister. On the way, they talked to each other about something. Hyeji really wasn't sure if Big Sister said Gangu's height was over the limit, but when she saw it, it was true. But Gangu didn't want to think about all the things that felt very unimportant. But if you look at it, Gangu really grew tall. Suddenly, someone called Hyeji, who turned out to be her schoolmate Minjung. That day, Minjung was very cheerful because she brought Ari Kyur's new photo album. They were going to school together with cheerful faces. Hyeji left Gangu alone because she had to go with her friend. They will meet again soon when they are at home later. Even though it was very much awaited by Gangu if he really wanted to be alone without anyone disturbing him in order to explain the contents of his head, everything that has happened to him makes Gangu feel very dizzy and can't even hold back sleepiness. Suddenly, someone came to thwart Gangu's desire to be alone. It turned out to be a classmate who always bullied students. His arrival made Gangu surprised and even felt very afraid. Without further ado, immediately discussed about Gangu, who had just confessed his feelings to Jiseon. Instantly, Gangu felt that he forgot all that just because he was too focused on the game. The moment when Gangu had to admit his feelings to Jiseon, that he really liked her. That morning, all the students were walking to school with eager faces, but not with interruptions. His morning had been disturbed by a person just because of his behavior who had just expressed feelings. Even that person did not expect that a loser like Gangu would have such a thing. Gangu could only laugh, even though he actually felt very scared in that situation. Really, Gangu didn't know how he managed to increase the courage to say that to Jizion. With an annoyed face, that person also doesn't know why there is courage from Gangu, even though Jiseon is Dayong's girlfriend. Hearing that obviously made Gangu so shocked that his eyes wanted to fall out. But at that time, Gangu felt that he had no ideas and only played games. Never paid attention to anything that happened at school until he didn't know that Jiseon had a boyfriend all this time. But it felt like Gangu had given a challenge to the best person in school. If you look at it, Gangu is very extraordinary to express feelings for someone who looks wrong but it feels like there has been a misunderstanding because Gangu really doesn't understand about it. But it seems that Dae Dayong is already looking for Gangu. That person immediately gave encouragement to have a very pleasant day. Instantly, Gangu felt even more dizzy and could not think more clearly than before. Even though at that time, Gangu was only completing a mission so that his family would not get hurt. Never imagined that everything would happen like that. The more he thought about it would make Gangu even more dizzy, and his body was immediately full of sweat. Everything looks really not good for now Gangu chose to skip school. Did not imagine if something like that should happen to him while at school. Maybe Gangu would really be killed if he had to go to school quickly. It felt like he had to come up with an excuse to avoid that. 
Suddenly, his cell phone vibrated to get a notification that there was a new mission he had to do again. Gang was getting annoyed with his cell phone that kept vibrating and even getting missions in such circumstances. Really, Gangu never imagined that he had to suffer just because of games like that. Just opened his cell phone suddenly, Rika had reappeared with her good morning greetings. Gangu really didn't understand why he could get stuck with a game like that. His school life would only get harder from then on. Gangu's first mission that day was a very simple mission for a student like him. A mission that really kills because it is asked to pay attention to the first class and not even allowed to sleep. Obviously, Gangu was very surprised because he wanted to leave the class at that time and didn't even want to attend class. According to Rika, it sounds very easy to do, but in such conditions, it becomes a threat to Gangu. It was a very difficult mission for Gangu of all missions. It felt like leaving the game. But the reward for the success of the mission will get Starter 1+. Plus. If Gangu fails the mission, his sister will have an accident that day. Hearing that punishment obviously immediately made Gangu very afraid. Don't know why the punishment given is always so extreme. There is no other choice because Gangu can't miss the mission. It makes Gangu very upset, but suddenly the mission has started in the next three hours. Inevitably, Gangu must do the mission. Whatever happens will be faced with Gangu, even though it is very scary. All his classmates were talking about Gangu, who had done strange things. But at that time, Gangu only focused on himself, who felt very dizzy. All his friends knew that Gangu had confessed his feelings to Jiseon yesterday. They whispered to each other to talk about it, which sounded very disgusting. All this time, no one paid attention to Gangu because he was always playing games. But after everything happened, they came to know who Gangu really was. Something really great he just made. They even knew that Dayong would be angry if he heard the story. Gangu really didn't dare to show his face. He could only bow my head and cover my ears as if nothing had happened. Even though the contents of his head felt like breaking with all the talk of his friends. It felt like all the rumors that were heard could make Gangu lose his mind. Even though at that time, Gangu did it not because of his heart's desire. Suddenly very surprised when Dayong was already in front of Gangu with a scary face. It felt like he wanted to die right then and there, seeing a creepy person about to attack him. Everyone was waiting for Dayong's arrival, but unfortunately that day Dayong was in a bad mood. The first period had started, and fortunately Gangu made it through the class despite the noise in his head. That day was really very unlucky because after the teacher finished some friends from Dayong invited him to go out. They will show a special place for Gangu. Gangu very reluctantly followed them, but fortunately managed to get a prize from the mission. Gangu has come with all of Dayong's friends who will beat him up, and even some other friends will watch their fight. They want one person to watch so that no teacher will come. Gladly the fight will be guarded so they don't have to worry about teachers watching. Gangu's body was already shaking so much that sweat was pouring out. Suddenly Gangu was immediately attacked because he didn't know that the woman was Dayong's girlfriend. But Gangu really didn't know that the woman was his girlfriend. That day, Dayong was really disappointed to disrupt the mood of his class. Gangu should have felt guilty about everything he did. To be honest, Gangu did not know about it, but they felt very upset because Gangu looked very relaxed as if he was innocent. They immediately tortured Gangu, hitting kicking all the violence they did. Anyone who bullies Jiseon even to the point of declaring love will definitely be tortured with Dayong. Jiseon just watched from a distance with her friend, as if she didn't feel guilty about it. Her friend was indeed surprised when she saw that Gangu was the one who had declared love to Jiseon. Even though Jiseon didn't want to talk about it, it was true. They laughed together because they saw Gangu was really a loser. Actually, they were confused with Jiseon why they had to report to Dayong even though they know for sure that if they interfere, they will be punished by him. And if you see, it's just a fun thing like a game. If there is a mistake, it's just because you have to admit a girlfriend. But that's what is expected of the evil little Jizeon. They did not stop hitting Gangu until his body was lying on the floor. His face was full of blood, but they did not stop beating him. Gangu's cell phone was thrown away by his falling body. Gangu could only remain silent until they were upset, and did not put up any resistance or even say anything. Gangu's body was already trembling, and even standing up was difficult. They were still staring at him with evil eyes. They saw Gangu's asshole who always sat in the back while playing games. 
No one knew that his inner demeanor was so slippery that he dared to do something like that. But you could say that Gangu was a brave kid in their school for confessing his feelings to Da Yong's girlfriend. All of that was true, according to Da Yong, and would never consider doing anything evil to Gangu for ruining his feelings. Gangu was completely silent without a single word to make them furious. They asked Gangu to talk while continuing to hit him. Gangu was thrown for the umpteenth time because they were so rude. With sinless laughing faces, they continued to stomp on Ganga. That's all he had to get something in return for all his actions. The stupid treatment that was done clearly got a comparable reply. As if they didn't care, they didn't stop crushing Gangu, kicking him and stomping on him. Gangu only tried to protect his body with both hands covering his face. It felt like everything he got was really unfair just because of a game. Gangu wanted to get out of that stupid game immediately. But at that time, Gangu really didn't feel anything, even though his body was shaking. Indeed, I've heard that sometimes in the middle of a fight you can stop feeling pain. But is that just because Gangu is afraid? They pulled Gangu's body, who was still sleeping on the floor, as if he was helpless. They were very upset because Gangu didn't have the slightest response to defend himself. From a distance, Jizayan just smiled sweetly, as if it was the thing he was waiting for. They continued to tell Gangu to get up to revive himself to fight them, because when admitting that feeling, Gangu looks full of courage. But why is it that when dealing with them, it seems that they don't have the slightest sense of courage? But Gangu really only fell silent, not daring to answer or even fight back. They were getting annoyed pulling Gangu's shirt, because Gangu didn't want to take the slightest attack. Gangu could only apologize to them and say nothing. Instantly, Dayong thought of something fun, but confused them. Maybe Gangu just wanted to finish the torture. Gangu could only nod without a word, and it turned out that Dayong told him to fight one of his friends. If Gangu wins, they will release Gangu. But actually, Dayong's friends were surprised to have to fight Gangu, but Dayong didn't expect that there would be fear of a loser like him. They had to keep fighting to make things fun. The friend immediately asked Gangu if it was possible to attack him. But actually, Gangu himself had absolutely no desire to fight back and didn't even dare. They were upset with Gangu's decision not to fight back, and they didn't even want Gangu to have such a decision. If Gangu didn't want to accept the challenge, then they obviously didn't stop torturing him. They kept telling Gangu to bring out all the courage from within his body so as not to look like a real loser, because it's been too long since the fight actually started. Just to fight Gangu didn't seem that hard, but Gangu could only remain silent, and they asked him to raise his hand. Gangu really didn't dare to do anything, and didn't even dare to fight back. It felt like seeing Gangu was so furious that it disappointed him. Gang was asked to fight back before he had to kick very upset. Again, Gangu could only put on a scared face and take refuge behind his two hands. They continued to force Gangu to attack first before they lost their temper, because he was so scared. Gangu could only stick out two hands as if he wanted to punch. They laughed at his behavior, but as expected if Gangu had dared to fight back. But it would not be easy for Gangu to attack first. With punches from afar, they again tortured Gangu and did not blame for the attack. Gangu really could only stay silent, protecting his face with both hands. They kept punching him until they wanted him dead. Again, and again the punches were aimed at Gangu's face until his body was shaking even more. Gangu could only mumble that all of this was clearly unfair and didn't know why it had to happen to him. The girlfriend who watched the fight just laughed happily as if she had no heart. Gangu was so sad not knowing why they could do that to him. Even Gangu himself did not dare to resist and did nothing. But suddenly Gangu felt annoyed and pushed the boy with two hands. Unexpectedly, the child was immediately thrown away until it destroyed the wall. Those who saw were clearly surprised, even though Gangu only pointed the two hands forward without the slightest movement. The person's body was immediately severely injured, and even vomited blood from being thrown away. Dayong clearly didn't understand what had happened and asked someone to help. They immediately ran in fear, seeing Gangu who was suddenly strong like that. But Gangu was clearly very confused about what power came out of his body. Gangu immediately thought whether it was the power of the prize from the game and ran to find his cell phone. In the notification of his cell phone, 
Gangu had indeed received a prize, but could it all be because of the game? Seeing it really made Gangu even more dizzy, and what happened made even less sense. Gangu immediately ran from that place holding his head. After he was tortured and released strange powers, Gangu chose to sit in a park. His face was still very confused about what had happened. Can only look at the cell phone and bow his head. If you continue to think everything that happens is only because of that game, but feel confused by the SDR that only went up one, Gangu didn't understand how strong he was at that time and couldn't even feel how much difference one stat point made. It was really very confusing and made Gangu even more dizzy to accept it. Maybe Gangu should try his strength with the tree in the park. Even though Gangu was stronger, the tree was very big. It didn't matter if Gangu tried it because there was no chance that the tree would fall. All this time, Gangu had never met anyone. Gangu had never even hit a punching bag. Looking at the big tree really made Gangu feel scared. It felt like hitting the tree wouldn't make Gangu break his wrist. There was no reason for Gangu to remain silent. Everything he did was just to try his strength. With full courage, Gangu immediately clenched his hand to punch the big tree in front of his face. Gangu immediately ran to punch the tree with a fairly light kick, but was very surprised when the tree broke because of Gangu's kick. Everyone was clearly frightened by the incident. Even the tree almost fell on the people around the park. Gangu was very scared and chose to run from that place. Seeing the incident itself made Gangu feel scared, even though it was all because of him. Gangu managed to run so far from the park that his face was full of sweat. His breathing was already very hurried because he ran too far. With just a gentle kick, the tree almost fell down. If Gangu had used the previous punch, it would have killed someone. Everything that happened increasingly made Gangu feel very confused. But at that time, Gangu just wanted to focus on the mission because the punishment was very harsh. Gangu just needs to understand how the game works so that something else doesn't happen. Maybe Gangu will cause a big incident if he continues to act without thinking like that. If you look at the details of the game, it seems to make Gang confused. Even Star Gangu only goes up one. Suddenly there was writing going into the basement. But what might Gangu have to try to press that button? But when Gangu tried to press it, turned out to be unable. Gangu must enter level 5 to be able to enter the basement. Gangu could only laugh because he was still at level 1. Gangu would check his status, but all statistics start in decimal. And if Gangu was currently at 1.1, then the original was 0.1. That means explaining the terrible power from before, and Gangu has become 10 times stronger. Gangu's statistics are horrifying with high numbers. Gangu can gradually understand all the numbers. But it's impossible if his lacquer becomes 2. It feels like Gangu is suffering just because the game is getting more and more dizzy. Actually, Gangu still doesn't realize why he can join the real world game all because of Gangu's higher-than-average luck, but it won't be too long until Gangu realizes all the truth. After the fight, Gangu had sent the friend he had punched to the infirmary, but Dayong, who heard that, felt very upset that all his followers looked like cowards. Even Dayong kept beating them as if it was all their fault. But they did recognize the power of the gang, which was far from what they saw. Dayong had seen wrongly, but Dayong himself didn't want to be blamed. Gangu's power doesn't look like a human, and it's even hard to explain in words. Dayong didn't want to hear any of that, and felt very annoyed with them. They felt that they should leave Gangu without fighting him anymore. But Dayong still didn't want to, as if they had a death wish. Dayong clearly didn't want to just let Gangu go and ask them to bring Gangu to him and handle it themselves. Gangu walked with a gloomy face. But unexpectedly that day, Gangu passed the class without realizing it. It felt like Gangu wanted to go home, but his bag was left at school. Gangu thought he would be attacked again if he took his bag to school. But if you think about it, Gangu is unlikely to be attacked by them again because there is already strength in his body. But if you think about it, it feels like Gangu really doesn't want to leave because it's all his fault. Gangu's head is getting more and more confused about what to do. Gangu has chosen to skip school just to avoid any more problems. But suddenly, his cell phone vibrated, and it was Dayong who contacted him, asking Gangu to go back to school because there was no need to run from them after making a mistake. Just hearing Dayong's voice made Gangu break out in a cold sweat. 
Dayong didn't think that Gangu could be like that, because all he knew about Gangu was playing games. He didn't know that Gangu could also fight back. That's why maybe Gangu felt brave to steal the feelings of Dayong's girlfriend. But all his friends asked Dayong to just stop. They were very afraid of Gangu's really strong power. But Dayong didn't want to let it go and asked all his friends to be quiet. On the phone, Gangu really didn't answer anything. Increasingly annoyed, Dayong shouted for Gangu to come back to school immediately and went upstairs. Gangu better come to school quickly, because Dayong already took his bag. All the games that were in his bag were thrown with Dayong as if they were useless. If Gangu really didn't get to school, then Dayong wouldn't hesitate to destroy all his game consoles. Gangu was obviously very scared of having his console destroyed by Dayong. And if Gangu didn't come, then they would attack Gangu's only friend at school. Dayong would kick Hyunjun all day in that place. Hearing that obviously made Gangu even more scared if something happened to his friend. But if Gangu really understood, he would come to school quickly. With a very scared tone, Gangu will run to school as fast as possible. Gangu really had no choice but to return to school rather than taking the risk. Because there are still class hours, they have to follow the lessons that day. But some of his friends felt that maybe Dayon himself had a problem with Gangu. Because there was no way a strong person would be afraid to fight. It felt like they really had to stop Dayong from fighting. But suddenly, Gangu came to class with a pale face apologizing to the teacher for being late. Gangu sat down immediately, and seeing Hyunjun still smiling at him made Gangu feel very relieved. Surely they haven't done anything out of bounds with Hyunjun. All his friends were shocked when they found out Gangu was really going to show up. They felt that things would get even worse. After several hours of class that day, they finally arrived at the last hour. With a scary face, Dayong immediately approached Gangu to challenge him immediately. All his friends were very scared if Gangu would give a very great attack. Dayong didn't expect that Gangu really wanted to come and even heard that he had beaten Minsu to vomit. Gangu thinks that everything has happened just a misunderstanding. Even with the new power, Gangu might feel that he can make love to Dayong's girlfriend. Hearing that scared Gangu even more, but tried to tell him that it was all just a misunderstanding. But Dayong still didn't accept if everything was considered a misunderstanding. Very upset, Dayong asked Gangu to follow him immediately. They fixed the misunderstanding upstairs. Gangu's face was getting paler and even sweaty. They both stared at each other because if you look at them, they have a lot of faults. But Dayong didn't want to say much, so Dayong thought that they should finish quickly, without having to say many words and finish with their hands only. Dayong has raised his two hands ready to fight. Even Dayong also heard that Gangu can hit very hard. So it's time to show Dayong that skill. Gangu only feels scared even if beating him will make Dayong feel better. Actually, that's how Dayong felt. But hearing Gangu beat Minsu made him even more furious. Since then, his two friends have been afraid of Gangu. So Dayong didn't want to wait any longer to see the ability that was in Gangu's body. If you think it feels like Gangu can't fight back, if you continue to think about fighting, then everything will be a very wrong choice. It would be better if Gangu just made a decision and finished it. Gangu was grateful for the statistics he got so that his body wouldn't hurt. But suddenly, Dayong managed to hit Gangu's face, which obviously hurt a lot. Gangu didn't expect to feel pain, even though his abilities had increased. Because he was hit once, Gangu didn't have time to fight back. Dayong still continued to hit him, but told Gangu to fight back with his prowess. Why just accept the attack without any resistance? Very annoyed, Dayong continued to hit him and asked to show that ability. The punch will not be stopped until Gangu gives him a counterpunch, because it was so exciting that Dayong forgot to tell him that he had destroyed all of Gangu's consoles in the bag. Hearing that immediately made the anger in Gangu appear. Without thinking anything, Gangu immediately punched Dayong until he was thrown with just one punch. All his friends obviously felt very scared because Gangu was like that. The disciples saw the wall that was damaged by the Gangu's blow. They never even thought that it could happen because it seemed impossible. A Gangu who used to just stay down with his game could now rebel. Something strange must have happened to him to make some people feel confused. 
After fighting with Dayong that day, Gangu's life was even more devastated. Never imagined that Gangu would get punished for that incident. Arriving home obviously made all of his exits very angry. They don't know what happened to Gangu if it's true that Gangu is really their brother. Apparently mom knew that Gangu had hit some students at school, but hearing that clearly made his sister knit. It seemed impossible that Gang could do that because Gangu was so weak. Gangu's sister couldn't stop shaking his body as if she couldn't believe all of Gangu's treatment. Gangu is getting dizzy because his body is constantly being pressured, but mom is already feeling dizzy with Gangu's actions. Maybe that's why mom was called to school, but big sister didn't stop pressing Gangu who made a mistake. But when she held Gangu's hand, she was surprised because she felt some muscles. It's impossible for Gangu to gain those muscles so quickly. She felt confused as to how Gangu could become like that so quickly. She didn't let go of Gangu's hand even though he wanted to go to the room. Gangu really wanted to rest because his head was so dizzy that his body hurt. Mom was really dizzy seeing Gangu's very strange behavior making such a fuss. But Gangu seemed not to feel guilty and even chose to sleep. Feeling annoyed, the sister threw a roll of tissue on Gangu's head. Gangu was really upset with his sister because of her attitude. She didn't know what Gangu wanted and what was wrong with Gangu. Sister was very upset because mother had to be called to school due to the actions of Gangu, who had beaten several children. Gangu should have explained to them instead of avoiding in such a way. Immediately, Gangu felt confused about how to explain, but sister continued to be angry with him. Even Gangu did not apologize to mother. Mother kept holding her head as she felt very dizzy from the gang's behavior. As they continued to fight, mom asked to stop everything. Gangu was really silent, but he also felt very confused. With an annoyed face, Gangu shouted that at that time he had no other choice. Even asked sister to stop acting, as if he knew everything. They were very surprised to see Gangu's very rebellious attitude like that. How could they even know if Gangu didn't explain very gently? But Gangu was really very upset because they wouldn't know what Gangu was going through all the threats from the game that could destroy his family. Gangu was very sad to face all that could not do anything, and just chose to sleep. Gangu's head is still very noisy, thinking clearly is very difficult. Maybe Gangu should feel upset with his sister, but he can't explain. Even if Gangu told the truth, they certainly wouldn't believe it. Gangu really felt very dizzy holding his head. It feels like Gangu's head is about to break when thinking about all that by holding his head and rolling on the mattress to understand all that. But his life becomes stressful because the crazy game feels like he will lose his mind. Suddenly, his cell phone vibrated. Just got a notification from the game. He didn't know what would happen to the game anymore. But Rika appeared with a face praising Gangu's victory. Gangu managed to complete the mission without any failure lately, congratulating Gangu for all the achievements and Gangu was amazing. Gangu was clearly annoyed because there was no way he couldn't complete the mission with all the crazy punishments. To be honest, the game was really bothering him. Judging by Gangu's response, it seems that he will continue to try to play the game. So, Rika will explain the next stage of the game. Gangu can review the game rules on the game explanation screen. The first thing to know is that players can invite up to three people to the game. The person sent the invitation can choose to play or not and join the game. But Gangu was very surprised if the game could really invite three people. The second thing is that the maximum number of users of the game is only 100. After reaching that number, players cannot invite anyone. If the player decides to quit or is removed, then new users can be added. The game did have a member limit, which was still 96 at the time. They can check the total number of players at any time. It should also be noted that the game is only available in Korea and not in other countries. The last thing Gangu can do is get a chance to get out of the game. Gangu was obviously surprised that he could get out of the game. Gangu is usually assigned to one to five missions every day. Gangu had a total of 20 lives, and the game ended when Gangu lost people. Failing a mission will result in a loss of life. Gangu was getting so confused that he had to receive 20 penalties. The game will also end when the player dies and can exit the game at any time. Rika immediately gave the option to stop the game permanently or not. That's all the explanation of the rules of the real-world game. Gangu felt confused because he could exit the game whenever he wanted. Since Rika was still on notice, 
she gave Gangu one last mission. Gangu was asked to run ten laps on the school track before the end of the day. His reward would be $76 that would be sent to his bank account. If it fails, then one of Gangu's most valuable possessions will be destroyed. The time was already running for the next five hours. Although there was a chance to start, it seemed that Gangu preferred to continue. He didn't care if he could stop, but his belief was always to finish whatever game he had started. So, it was time for Gangu to finish the game alone. A very dark night, Gangu had to go to school to complete his new mission. Although he had lost the game, at least there were good things he got. Gangu's body is getting taller and stronger thanks to winning the mission. With great enthusiasm, Gangu convinced himself that he could finish it all. It turned out that night, there was a Minsu with his friend who saw Gangu running fast. They didn't see Gangu as a loser anymore. Could it be that he always runs to add strength to his body? There was even one woman who saw Gangu running in the field. In the end, Gangu managed to complete ten laps. It's been five days since Gangu was home for punishment, and it feels very strange when Gangu doesn't go to school as usual. But at least Gangu has been able to consistently complete his real-world game missions. Gangu even got some rewards and managed to level four. Gangu's status point is also already at number three. Didn't even realize that the level had risen again to level five. With level five, Gangu can already press the button to go to the underground world. Gangu hesitated to press, but felt more curious, but still had to think about what would happen when he pressed the button. What exactly is in that dungeon? If in a normal game, you can get a lot of prizes for completing the dungeon. Gangu was very confused whether he should try or keep quiet. But Gangu was sure that the game would give him a very extraordinary prize to use in real life. But Gangu must keep waiting because the game still cannot be fully understood. It's possible that Gangu will get a penalty if he fails to complete the mission in the dungeon. Even if it continues to be considered the penalty, he gets is very excessive. If you don't die in the dungeon, maybe Gangu will die in the real world. So it felt better to choose not to continue with the mission. There was no reason to do something that she did not understand trying not to care about the game and lay his body on the mattress. But it felt like Gangu was still curious about the dungeon and pulled out his cell phone. He was about to put his cell phone down again, but his head was burning with curiosity. Actually, Gangu was so eager that he felt like losing his mind. When he opened his cell phone, it was suddenly on the selection screen. Curiosity is getting hotter to try the dungeon. It feels like Gangu's fingers just have to squeeze, but it looks very difficult. It feels like if you really press that button, the disturbance will really go away. But he was afraid of getting involved in something very dangerous. But because he was very curious, Gangu chose to press the button, and something really happened. Suddenly, a very bright light appeared from his cell phone. Never imagined that Gangu was actually thrown into a dungeon. Gangu was very surprised when he was already in a very large land where there was not even a single person. Really, the game has pulled Gangu's body into the dungeon, but very confused about how he will go home. Suddenly, a notification appeared in front of Gangu's face that made him surprised. Just arrived at the dungeon, Gangu had gotten a mission to find a brown bear within ten hours. If you fail the mission, then the player can die. Gangu really couldn't believe it if it really happened to him. But suddenly, something very big came from the sky. Gang was clearly very confused whether it was an earthquake, and it turned out that what came was a creepy brown bear. Seeing the bear clearly made him very scared, and he didn't even imagine having to hunt down ten bears. But all the bears were already approaching towards him, and there was no choice but to fight back. Unfortunately, Gangu's strength appeared so long ago that the bear managed to attack him first. Ganga's body was hit by the big bear until it was thrown away. His face was already very scared, but there was no time to stay still. It hurt a lot when he was knocked down by the evil bear. But no matter how strong Gangu was, he wouldn't be able to fight a large number of bears. In fact, if Gangu wasn't at number one, he might have died. But immediately, Gangu remembered that he still had four stat points that had not been used when he reached level five. It felt like the right time for Gangu to use the four points. But when moving the body that had just been attacked by the bear, it felt very painful. Gangu immediately opened his cell phone to press the point button. One by one points can be used against monsters. 
but when the point has not worked, the monster is already in front of Gangu's face. A very large hand felt like it wanted to pounce on Gangu's face, but fortunately the point worked. Gangu's hand instantly had a very strong strength to withstand the bear's attack. The bear's face that was very close to him was successfully blocked with just one hand. Even Gangu was able to smile even though the big bear was in front of his face. Gangu's hand is still holding a big bear, even though it looks very dangerous. But fortunately, it can still be controlled so as not to be attacked by the bear. Finally, Gangu managed to use his points correctly. One bear that almost ate him was defeated. Gangu gained strength by using only one point. Instantly, the bear screamed, but Gangu flew up to bully the bear. But Gangu didn't realize that he could fly like that. Was it because Gangu had gotten the power of two stiar? The bear still continued to be attacked in the kick. Even all the strength that was in his body was released. From behind the body, a Gangu bear ran up to kick it. The bear was immediately thrown so far away that his large body could not even be seen. Gangu felt sorry for all the bears, but because they wanted to kill him, Gangu had no other choice. Only one bear was successfully killed by Gangu, and there were still nine bears to complete the mission. With one foot, Gangu kicked the bear that appeared from behind his body. Many other bears appeared with scary sounds. Gangu felt confused to be able to fight all the bears at once. Gangu immediately fell silent and didn't fight back, giving the bears a chance. From the front of Gangu's face, the bear immediately headed his body until it was thrown away. Even though at that time, Gangu had entered statistics again to increase strength, but did not expect to be thrown because the bear was very sick. From then on, Gangu will make sure not to leave protection when he tries to fight the bear. All the bears rumbled running towards him until it made Gangu feel very scared to see the bears. Because he had not managed to fight, Gangu could only run to avoid the bears that were chasing him behind. To face all the bears in one attack was very, very difficult for Gangu. As predicted, all the bears each have different physical abilities. There was a difference in speed when running so that they began to separate. Even Gangu did not know why the bears did not stop chasing him. Suddenly, Gangu was confronted with one bear that appeared in front of his face. One by one, the bears were killed with the power of the gang to make his body feel very weak the fist of his hand that was used to destroy the big bear. It was unexpected that Sangu could actually kill ten bears to complete his mission. After doing that, Gangu's body really felt very weak. It feels like he's never moved his body that much. During his life, Gangu really just sat still with all the games. It really feels like dying when you have to kill ten very large bears. Not long after a notification appears that the mission has been completed. Because it was finished, it felt like Gangu had to go home immediately and press one button on the screen. Suddenly, Gangu was immediately thrown on his bed. It really made him very surprised because the game moved him very quickly. But fortunately, Gangu was fine at that time, even though he had just fought many monsters. Not long after, Gangu immediately got a notification because he had successfully won the dungeon. Congratulations from Rika for entering the underground world and immediately given a gift for completing the mission. The mission for that day is complete and there are no more missions. Instantly, Gangu immediately went up one level and got an old club that confused him. Gangu got the opportunity to get some items after completing the dungeon. However, the items cannot be used in the real world and can only be used in the dungeon. Rika said goodbye and good job that day. We'll come again to tell the next mission. Suddenly, another mission appeared for the next three days, looking for cellular players to join the game. It feels like it makes Gangu even more dizzy how to find friends to join. The mission given from the game is really very confusing. The next day, Gangu returned to his usual activities. They ate together at the dinner table, but unfortunately, Gangu was still haunted by the game. There were only two days left, but he was very confused to find people he could invite. Even in real life, Gangu has no friends at all. It felt impossible to find people to join the game. It felt like it was better to just give up on the mission than to keep feeling dizzy. But the reward was exp, and there was no real penalty for failing the mission. While at the dinner table, Gangu just thought about it with a dreamy face. Mom immediately reprimanded because Gangu's face looked very gloomy and confused and didn't even hear the words. 
Sister felt annoyed with Gangu and didn't even know what had happened to him. From earlier, the mother had sought Gangu's attention, but was just ignored. Gangu was really like a very confused person, but immediately confirmed the mother who invited him to talk. Mom just wanted to tell Gangu to get ready for school because his punishment would end in one day. Gangu felt confused when his mother mentioned it and didn't realize that he had been home for so long. But it felt like there was nothing to prepare with Gangu because everything would go just the same as a school day. Mom just chuckled, even though it really surprised her. Never imagined that Gangu would do something like that. But again, Gangu daydreamed to himself because he was too focused on the mission. Everything about his school was instantly forgotten and didn't even remember at all. Gangu was sure that he would not be bullied again, but it still feels scared to go back to school again. Suddenly, Gangu's cell phone vibrated again that there was a new mission to do that day. Quickly, Gangu immediately deleted the notification, but was very curious what mission he would get, until Gangu ate quickly without pause, making all his family feel confused by Gangu's behavior. After finishing eating, Gangu only said thank you and wanted to leave immediately. But the older sister again prevented him because Gangu really didn't have the manners to eat. But the mother asked the older sister not to be too hard with his brother. Fortunately, mom defended Gangu so he could only smile at his sister who was very scary. Sister still continues to grumble with Gangu's attitude, which has been very strange lately. Even asked mom not to give more attitude towards him. Lately, Gangu always holds the cell phone in his hand after seeing the cell phone screen suddenly disappear. His sister said that maybe Gangu just had a girlfriend, but she doesn't believe it happened. But it feels very clear because Gangu is always looking at his cell phone as if there is someone he wants to wait for. Actually, there was something that his sister knew at that time, but his sister was really very surprised. At that time, my sister did not intend to eavesdrop, but accidentally heard a voice from Gangu's room. In fact, it was a woman's voice. The mother immediately laughed as if Gangu had grown up. Even the younger sister did not expect it because all this time Gangu was always alone wherever he went. Sister felt very touched when she knew her sister had made a friend. If it's really like that, it feels like big sister will survive if Gangu has to hold his cell phone every day. Even mom invites them to try to understand Gangu's situation. Gangu immediately went into the room to see one of his new missions. Even though at that time the woman's voice meant Rika the guide of the real world game. The next day, Gangu was back at school as usual, but the atmosphere changed drastically from usual. Gangu had to pass by everyone who glanced fearfully and even whispered about him. It must all be because of the thing that just happened, even until his classmates ran to see Gangu as if very scared. In fact, they even ran scared because they saw Gangu's return. All this time, Gangu had no friends and now had to be wasted just because he looked strong. Even Gangu's teacher was surprised when he returned to school. The teacher really didn't expect it because Gangu was a kid who always sat in the back playing games, but did not expect to be able to torture several students until they were injured. Gangu can only apologize for all his treatment. It has been a few years since the naughty student was expelled from school, so the teacher hopes that Gangu will not repeat it again. It is certain that Gangu will not make the same mistake again. The teacher accepted the answer, but next time, if the same thing happened again, then Gangu would be expelled. From then on, it felt like Gangu wanted to live quietly until graduation. Gangu doesn't want anything to happen again, but it's good that Gangu won't be bothered by anyone anymore. Even the student council also took the incident very seriously, and the teacher thought the student president wanted to talk to Gangu. Hearing that, Gangu felt very scared and surprised and the teacher immediately told him to go to the council office. All of that happened just because the unlucky game that was played never imagined having to go to the student council office. Even Gangu himself didn't know where the room was. When he had just come out of the teacher's room, there was Dayong who had broken his hand staring at Gangu. All this time, Dayong had never imagined being kicked by a loser otaku like Gangu. Even Dayong has never lost a fight whether it's the upperclassmen or kids from other schools. Even though he's stronger, Gangu still feels scared looking at Dayong's face. Dayong still doesn't accept all of Gangu's treatment of him. All this time, Dayong had never been humiliated in front of his friends, never in his life. Feeling very upset, Dayong suddenly kicked Gangu in the head but without any injury or pain. 
Dayong really didn't understand where Gangu was coming from, but Gangu himself didn't know what Dayong's words meant. Dayong still continued to feel upset about torturing Gangu, but Gangu asked him to stop immediately. Gangu had to go to the student council office immediately, so she didn't have time to linger. Gangu immediately ran fast, but from behind, Dayong kept shouting after Gangu. He doesn't know how long Gangu has to be in such a state, not knowing if he can get a chance to live until graduation. At that time, there was a woman who knew that Gangu was one of the newest players in the real world game, and even the woman was waiting for Gangu's arrival. Yonhui turned out to be the president of the student council. Gangu was still running, but it felt like Dayong was no longer following behind. The real world secular is indeed one of the most extraordinary games. Gangu immediately felt whether it was possible that he had become a superhuman. Gangu immediately looked for the god's office because he had never known where the office was. All the students still didn't understand that Gangu was back at school that day, and they didn't even understand if Gangu was still using his powers. But they are afraid if they will be attacked by Gangu because they know they are Dayong's friends. If they have to be hit again with Gangu, then they will really die. They became afraid if they could not calm down until graduation. Their lives already felt very difficult. Plus, they had to end up in class with Gangu. Although they initially thought that Gangu was just someone who could play games, they knew that Gangu only had one friend in the class and thought to attract the attention of the boy. They immediately approached Hyunjun and hit his head without sin. Even though, at that time, Hyunjun was just sitting quietly in the cafeteria, looking at his cell phone. Hyunjun didn't feel scared, but they continued to want to beat him up. They felt that Hyunjun acted only because Gangu had returned to school. But fortunately, Hyunjun managed to avoid the punch. Hyunjun didn't want to listen to them because he was focused on the game on his cell phone. But they still continued to interfere and even felt annoyed because the attacks they gave were successfully avoided. Hyunjun has repeatedly asked them to leave him alone because he was focused on the game. But they still didn't want to leave and didn't even care about those words. They really felt that Hyunjun was acting like that because Gangu was back. Or maybe he felt confident because he had successfully avoided their attacks. Hyunjun actually didn't want to talk to them much. But they still continued to point their hands in front of him until it made Hyunjun very furious. With one hand blocking those who wanted to punch him, even managed to throw very far. Hyojun's hand was bleeding because he had punched his friend in the face. The attack that was given seemed to be equal to the power of Gangu. All the students who saw clearly felt frightened and surprised by the power. Unfortunately, Hyojun did not want to talk much and immediately left with his cell phone. When looking at the cell phone screen, it was really surprising. It turns out that Hyunjun has joined the real world game and entered level two. Meanwhile, Gangu was still trying to find the student council room. During his time at school, Gangu never thought that he would have to enter the god's room. Even he was very nervous when he stood in front of the room. With full courage, Gangu immediately knocked on the door to say greetings. From inside, the student council immediately gave Gangu permission to enter the room. Gangu immediately entered the room with a face full of fear and even very pale. But Gangu's arrival only wanted to apologize and say that Gangu would not repeat the same mistake again. But the representative council only smiled slightly, because they had wanted to talk to Gangu since before. Gangu continued to apologize for making a mess and made sure not to cause any more problems until he graduated. But the student council called him into the room not to scold him. Suddenly, the student council immediately asked if it was true that he was a real world game player. Hearing it clearly made Gangu surprised and very confused, but the council continued to stare creepily. Gangu just didn't understand everything the council said to him, but the council has good intuition about things like that, so it's better to just say it right away. Because the real world game is the only explanation for all the power in Gangu's body. But Gangu could only laugh, really, not understanding all the things the council said. By still continuing to stare with a scary face and even smiling slightly at him. Even the council saw that Gangu was really trying to hide everything. Don't know what Gangu's purpose is to hide it because the council actually knows that Gangu is a real world game player. Suddenly, the council's hands against the wall held Gang's body until it made him feel very scared. His face was already sweating and trying to get out of his way.
Seeing the power coming out of the council seemed to make Gangu see a player. Instantly the council laughed because Gangu had admitted it. Actually, the council was surprised but hoped that there were no other players in their school at that time. Even Gangu should be able to say the same thing if he was really surprised too. Gangu never even thought that other players of the silly game could be in the same school. But at that time, Gangu had to think that he had a mission to find friends in the game. Time went on, but at that time, Gangu had not yet found one person he could invite. They had to stop talking because Gangu wanted to complete a mission first. Gangu is really very addicted to video games on his cell phone. But suddenly, it was very surprising to get a notification that a friend's disbursement mission had been completed. Gangu really didn't understand even though he had never invited friends at all. Gangu's face was so pale that it made the council feel confused. Gangu still didn't understand why the mission had been completed without him being invited. Can only look at his cell phone because what happened doesn't make sense. But he was even more surprised when he found out that Hyunjun had joined the game. Gangu's face is getting knitted with an expression that can't be control. Don't know why it was Hyunjun who entered the game. No wonder Hyunjun had more strength when fighting some of his friends. Everything really didn't make sense and made Gangu even more confused. Gangu Choi sat there and stared at his phone screen, but he showed a surprised face. He wondered what happened and why. There was a picture of Hyunjun Yoon's face. Gang was very confused. Why was Hyunjun Yoon on his friend list? He checked again, and there was a congratulatory message for Gangu Choi. Because he had successfully completed the mission right now very easily. As promised, he got a large amount of XP as a reward for his mission. Gangu Choi's level increased from level 6 to level 8. Gangu Choi's face was still surprised and wondering. He said what was happening. Then, a female student in front of him saw him staring at the phone screen. She asked him why he only looked and didn't befriend her in the game. Didn't he promise her that he would send her a friend request? Gangu Choi looked at her in front of him. Then he got up and stood up. He also just remembered that he was going to ask for her friendship. Then Gangu Choi asked how he could add her as a friend. She explained the method to Gangu Choi. If the event is the same as SNS, if there is someone in his contact list, he is a real-world player. They will be automatically added as friends. Gangu Choi understood because she told him the method earlier. She asked Gangu to give Gangu Choi's cell phone to her. She said that she would give her cell phone number to Gangu Choi. Then Gangu Choi gave his cell phone to her. Gangu Choi thought that if what she said was true. Then it meant that Hyunjun joined her in the real world. He looked at the screen of his cell phone in her hand who was typing her number. Gangu Choi thought, how come the game store was closed? After that, she walked towards the school window near them. Gangu Choi was silent. He watched her who was walking towards the window and holding his cell phone. Then she opened the window there. Gangu Choi was confused about what she was doing. Then he asked her what she was doing. But she didn't answer the question asked by Gangu Choi. She just gave him a smile. After that, she threw Gangu Choi's cell phone out of the window. Suddenly, Gangu Choi panicked and ran towards her. He shouted loudly, calling Kim Yon Hui's name. Gangu Choi spoke in a loud voice because he was very surprised. He asked what she had just done to his cell phone. He told her that how could she see the mission that he would do later if his cell phone was broken. Then he would get punished later if he didn't participate in the mission game. She looked at Gangu Choi. Then she stuck out her tongue as a sign that she was just joking. She showed Gangu Choi's cell phone, which was still in her hand. She also said that she was just joking. However, Gangu Choi still showed a disappointed and angry face at her. Because according to him, the joke she made was not funny. Then why did she do that? She showed a smiling face. She told him that what she did just now was just to teach him to be more careful. Kim Yon Hui returned his cell phone. She asked if he was thinking of giving his cell phone to other real-world cell phone players. Then what if they damage or lose his cell phone? So, if that happens, he will get punished. She also advised him to be more careful when dealing with other real-world mobile players. Because there are many people who will consider him as a competition. Gangu Choi understood. Then he asked why she returned his phone and not destroy it. Because earlier she told him that the players considered each other as a competition. Kim Yonhui laughed at him and said, after she met him, 
then she felt no need to do something like that. He saw Kim Yon Hui who was laughing in front of him. He asked if what Kim Yon Hui just said was a compliment to him. Kim Yon Hui said, after she talked to him, it seemed that he beat the kids just to show his strength. Gangu Choi thanked Kim Yon Hui for understanding him. Kim Yon Hui allowed Gangu Choi to leave now, because she just wanted to see what kind of person he was. She also reminded him that she had saved his phone number on his phone. Gangu Choi walked away, leaving Kim Yon Hui. He thought that it was very surprising to him. Gangu Choi never thought that there would be another player who was close to him. Then he would become the student council president for everyone. He felt happy because he had someone to talk to about the game. He also thought about Kim Yon Hui and Hyun Jun, who were suddenly added to his friend list. Gangu Choi thought that it was not a mistake. So he would decide to find Hyun Jun and ask him directly. When he was walking on the school stairs, Suddenly, the sound of students screaming was heard nearby. The students screamed and looked out the window. Gangu Choi also saw it. He asked what was happening. It turned out that there were students fighting down there. One of the students was Hyun Jun. He was punching his opponent. Suddenly, Gangu Choi was shocked because he saw Hyun Jun fighting down there. One of the students behind Hyun Jun said, Has Hyun Jun lost his mind? He asked Hyunjun to stop doing that. They all punched Hyunjun's body. The student who hit Hyunjun said that Hyunjun deserved the hit. He also said that Hyunjun's actions were weak. Hyunjun was silent and stared at him. The students who were Hyojun's opponents also stared at Hyojun. They looked and asked what Hyojun was looking at. Then Hyunjun quickly moved and hit the student in front of him hard. The students who were watching the incident showed shocked faces. Hyunjun kept hitting. One of the students near Hyunjun said that Hyunjun was a monster. They were all scared and ran away from that place. Then Hyunjun managed to beat all of them who tried to bother him. The students were already lying down there. The student's body was shaking, he said. First Gangu Choi, then Hyunjun. He felt that both of them were not human. Hyunjun told he that he had once called Hyunjun a loser. Didn't they also pressure him and make Hyunjun a loner? Then Hyunjun stomped his feet hard on the student's body by saying, how does it feel to be defeated by an otaku like him? He felt pain and cried. The other students who saw it showed scared faces. They asked Hyunjun to stop doing it because it could kill the student. Gangu Choi didn't know Hyunjun's level or what stats he had. But Gangu Choi could break trees when his strength was only one, a real world player who uses their strength on normal people. It might kill them. Hyunjun said, how does it feel to be stepped on by a loser? The student cried and said it felt bad. He felt that Hyunjun was following in his mother's footsteps. Hyunjun stepped on his body hard again. Then Gangu Choi jumped down from the window. He asked Hyunjun to stop doing it because it could kill the student. The students who were with Gangu Choi were shocked because they just realized Gangu Chuin was not beside them. Suddenly, the students who saw the incident were very shocked. Some also recorded the incident with their cell phones. They wondered if the one who jumped from the upper window was Gangu Choi. Hyunjun, who was there, asked Gangu Choi if he had just jumped from up there. He admitted that he was the one who jumped from there, but he didn't want to talk about it now. He asked what Hyunjun was thinking that he did that. Was Hyojun trying to end their lives? He also told him that hitting him like that wouldn't just end with a few bruises. Hyunjun said, why would Gangu Choi protect useless people like them? Gangu Choi even put one of them in the hospital. Suddenly, Gangu Choi laughed hesitantly and admitted that at that time he didn't intend to do that to them. Hyunjun said, Gangu Choi could take revenge on the bullies, but Hyunjun was not allowed to do the same. According to Hyunjun, that was ridiculous. Then again, Gangu Choi was only bullied by them for one day, but Hyunjun was bullied his entire life. Gangu Choi laughed nervously. He also said that at that time he didn't mean it. He explained that he just didn't know his own strength. He didn't realize some of the powers that Hyunjun got from the application. Hyunjun didn't care about what Gangu Choi said. Then Hyunjun asked Gangu Choi to stay away from him. Hyunjun wondered when he should take revenge, but now he couldn't stand to give them revenge anymore. He pushed Gangu Choi's body away from him. Gangu Choi asked Hyunjun to calm down but Hyunjin admitted that he couldn't calm down. Hyunjin clenched his teeth. 
and said that Gangu Choi knew how long Hyunjun had been bullied by them. He would use that opportunity to kill them all. He kicked their bodies hard. They didn't put up any resistance to him. They could only lie there. Gangu, who saw that thought that Hyunjun had lost consciousness. The student could only cry and endure the pain. Then Hyunjun pulled the student's shirt roughly, but Gangu Choi tried to prevent him and pulled the student away from Hyunjun. Hyun was very upset. Why did Gangu Choi stop him from doing that? Gangu Choi smiled doubtfully. He asked Hyunjun to calm down and listen to his explanation first. If Hyunjun killed them, then Hyunjun would be in trouble. But Hyojun still didn't accept that reason. He shouted and said, then he only needed to beat him within an inch of his life. He also said that Gangu Choi never felt what he experienced at that time. Gangu Choi just sat and watched him suffer. Gangu Choi considered Hyunjun as a friend, but he never helped Hyunjun even once. Then Hyunjun kicked Gangu Choi's body very hard, then threw a harsh sentence at Gangu Choi. Gangu Choi's body was thrown back and hit the wall there. He tried to get up with a body that was in pain. Hyunjun was still trying to finish them off. He lifted the student's body and told him, did he faint? He also told him that that's what they got. He told the student to remember all the actions he had done and live his life well. Gangu Choi shouted, asking Hyunjun to stop doing that. He ran towards Hyunjun and jumped. Gangu Choi's hand hit the wall there. He quickly pulled the student's body from Hyunjun's grip. Fragments of stone from the wall hit Hyunjun's body. Gangu Choi saw Hyunjun with a panicked face. Gangu Choi said that Hyunjun was not himself now. He asked those there to take the student away from there. He then threw the student's body to his friend. They caught his friend's body, which was already limp. He told them to run from there. Quickly, Hyunjun gave a hard punch to Gangu Choi. He told Gangu Choi he shouldn't defend him. Then why did Gangu Choi block Hyunjun? He also said that Gangu Choi knew how much suffering he had experienced. With his body bowed in front of Hyunjun, Gangu Choi admitted that he understood what Hyunjun felt. He asked Hyunjun to calm down first and talk about it properly. But what Gangu Choi said made Hyunjun even angrier. He told Gangu Choi to stop talking and he also spoke in a loud voice, throwing curses at him. Then Hyun gave Gangu Choi a hard punch in the face. The punch hit Gangu Choi right in the face. Gangu Choi was thrown far back due to the punch given by Hyunjun. Gangu Choi's body bowed weakly in pain. Gangu Choi told Hyunjun to stop doing that. One of the students who was there immortalized the incident by making content. She said that the content was extraordinary. She was sure that the content she recorded would get millions of viewers. Meanwhile, the students who saw Gangu Choi and Hyunjun fighting, they wondered what was wrong with Gangu Chi and Hyunjun. Are they both not even human? Because they both fought very well than world-class boxers. Dayong, who was walking up the stairs. He showed a confused face because he saw the students standing and looking out the window. He also joined them and asked what they were looking at. Dayong's face suddenly changed to one of shock. Because he saw Gangu Choi fighting down there. He said to himself, what's wrong with Gangu Choi? Gangu Choi, who was fighting someone again, was he really the same person who was afraid of him? Who was fighting with Gangu Choi in that place? Hyunjun shouted very loudly and did not stop punching Gangu Choi's body. Suddenly, Dayong showed a very surprised face because he saw Hyunjun who was fighting with Gangu Choi. He wondered if the one in that place was an otaku. Gangu Choi managed to withstand the attack given by Hyunjun. Hyunjun showed a surprised face. Then with all his strength, Gangu Choi made his body slam backwards. Hyunjun's body bounced and hit the bench in that place. Gangu Choi's face felt a little guilty. On the other hand, Dayong, who was watching them, was fighting. He still didn't know what was happening to them there. Hyunjun tried to get up from that place. He shouted and threw harsh words at Gangu Choi, who was in front of him. Then Kim Yonhui came and approached the two of them who were there. She asked them to stop doing that. She told them if they continued to cause trouble at school, then she would kill them. Suddenly, they did not expect that the student council president would approach them. On that very bright day, they made a scene at her school. Kim Yon Hui walked closer to Gangu Choi and Hyunjun, who were there. She showed an expressionless face to the two of them. Hyunjun did not know who she was. Then he asked her and asked her not to get in his way 
or else she would get hurt. Suddenly, she was a little annoyed because of the words that Hyunjun gave her. She then told him, is that how he talks to senior students? But he ignored what Kim Yonhui said. He told her, why did she act so harshly? He asked Kim Yonhui to mind her own business, leave that place. She showed a smirk and asked if he was serious about saying that to her. Gangu Choi, who was beside Hyunjun, tried to calm Hyunjun down. He asked him what Heojun was doing. He asked Hyunjun to calm down, and he told him that the one in front of them now was the president of their school's student council. Hyunjun was a little surprised. He asked Gangu Choi if that was true. Hyunjun also felt no wonder she acted so high and mighty. She told Hyunjun that he looked like someone who was being bullied. Hyojun gave a sharp look to Kim Yonhui, who was in front of him. He asked what she was talking about. She explained how Hyunjun took revenge on others after he got power. She could tell what kind of person Hyunjun was. He did not accept the words that were said. He also said that if she kept saying that to him, then he would try to hurt her. But she ignored what Hyunjun said. She pretended that he made her have a headache. Who invited someone like him to the real world mobile? Hyojun suddenly showed his shocked face. He did not expect how she could know about the real world. Then Kim Yonhui jumped and kicked Hyunjun's body hard. Hyojun's body was thrown back. He lay limp in that place. Meanwhile, Gangu Choi, who saw the incident very closely, was very surprised. She said that people could hear what she just said. But there was no response from Hyunjun. Gangu Choi quickly ran towards Hyunjun. Then he looked at Kim Yonhui, who was in front of him. She asked Gangu Choi to take Hyunjun to the school infirmary, then make sure Hyunjun doesn't get into trouble again. Gangu Choi understood what she said. She walked away, leaving the two of them there. She told them both to come to the student council office, then asked Gangu Choi if he understood what she said. Suddenly, Gangu Choi showed a surprised face. He didn't expect that he would get into trouble, too. She looked back at the two of them. Gangu Choi's face changed immediately with a hesitant smile. He said that he understood. Then she continued to walk away, leaving the two of them. Gangu Choi only saw she walking away from him. Meanwhile, Dayong, the other students were still watching them. They all wonder, is she also a monster? After that, Gangu Choi is waiting for Hyun Jun, who is lying in the school health room. Hyun Jun is still unconscious until now. Gangu Choi thinks that the current situation is bad. He didn't expect that Hyun Jun would also be a player of the game. Hyun Jun was also added to his friend list. So Hyun Jun will start playing from now on. Gangu Choi still doesn't understand what is happening now. Hyun Jun still hasn't opened his eyes. Gangu Choi feels restless. He checks his phone and says that maybe the game can tell more information. He presses the list button on the phone screen. He has made sure that Kim Yonhui and Hyun Jun are on the friend list. Then, Gangu Choi presses the picture of Hyun Jun in the game. He doesn't know if by pressing the picture all information about Hyun Jun will be visible. After he presses the picture, information about Hyun Jun is visible. Gangu Choi sees that Hyun Jun is still at level 2. He also thinks that Hyun Jun has just played the game. Hyun Jun must have also completed the mission at school and leveled up now. But Gangu Choi doesn't know how Hyun Jun got access to the game. Because he was invited by the owner of the game store directly. Then, Hyun Jun, is he? Suddenly, Hyun Jun answered that he was also invited by the owner of the game store. Gangu Choi fell silent and looked at Hyun Jun, who was lying down. Hyun Jun told him that the owner of the store also gave him an invitation. Gangu Choi asked about Hyun Jun's condition now. Hyun Jun said that he still felt a little dizzy but he thought that he would recover soon. The answer given by Hyunjun made Gangu Choi feel relieved. He just remembered that the game store was closed. How did Hyunjun get the invitation? Hyunjun told him that he went to the store before it closed. He explained to Gangu Choi what happened to him at that time. That day, strange people broke his game phone. Dayong slammed his game phone. He laughed because he managed to make the game phone die. He said that he didn't do it on purpose. He also didn't know that the object would die. Suddenly, Gangu Choi remembered the incident at that time. He was on his way home and then said goodbye to Hyun Jun. Hyun said that there was a sign on every shop front that the shop was being rented. 
So he quickly entered the store. Gangu Choi asked, so at that time, Hyunjun went to the store. Hayajun said again that he tried to fix the game phone himself, but in the end, he went to the store to ask for help, although he didn't have time to fix it because the store was closed. The shop owner apologized to Hyunjun. She told him that it was the last day of his store, so he couldn't fix it. Hyunjun was a little disappointed. She looked at Hyunjun and felt sorry. She offered Hyunjun would give a very interesting game. Hyunjun was very curious. She was sure Hyunjun would really like the game. That was the beginning of how Hyunjun got an invitation to the real world. He just installed it and had never played the game, because he prefers console games to mobile games. Gangu Choi was the same. He admitted that the game on the console was more fun. When Hyunjun was walking to school that day, he thought he should try the game. The game was very good. If you complete the mission, you will get a reward in the real world. Not only that, it only uses one stat point after leveling up, then makes him feel strong. Gangu Choi laughed, and he had expected it. But Hyunjun shouldn't try to kill his enemies just because he became stronger. Hyunjun couldn't accept what Gangu Choi said. How could Gangu Choi say that? While he had seen how long Hyunjun had been holding back to take revenge, if Hyunjun killed him, was he ready to be imprisoned for life? Hyunjun was angry. He said that only he knew and people wouldn't die because of that. Not to mention, Gangu Choi was the one who took revenge on the bully. Gangu Choi admitted that it was just a misunderstanding. Dayeon came to where they were. He was curious if there was a new game released. Gangu Choi was surprised. Hyunjun said that Dayeon had business with him. But Hyun didn't respond, because there was something he wanted to ask them. Hyojun said that now was the right time. Dayong asked about Real World Mobile. Suddenly, Gangu Choi and Hyunjun were very surprised because of the question that was asked to him. They both decided to leave Dayong. Dayong shouted and asked for the answer he said. Gangu Choi laughed doubtfully, and he pretended not to know what Dayong said. He asked Hyunjun if they felt better, then they should go. Dayong said that don't pretend not to know, because he heard everything when he was standing outside. Everything about how Hyunjun got the prize in real life and got that power. Gangu Choi laughed, hesitantly explaining to Dai Yong that they were just talking about their favorite light novel. He also made sure that there was no way something like that was real. Dai Yong closed his eyes. Then he said that it was true that it was impossible in real life. Gangu Choi told him that Dai Yong was right. But Dai Yong said he lost to a loser like Gangu Choi. He found it hard to believe. Then it wasn't just him. The two of them managed to beat everyone who bothered Hyunjun. Suddenly, they both fell silent and looked at Dayong. Dayong thought, the real world mobile game was starting to look more real from time to time. He asked Hyunjun if what he just said was true. Gangu Choi's face was covered in sweat from fear. He thought that Dayong really knew about it. He laughed very doubtfully. Hyunjun was very upset with Dayong. He said Dayong kept talking negatively to them. That made him angry. Hyunjun's body wanted to approach Dayong who was in front of them, but Gangu Choi stopped him. He asked Hyunjun to calm down. Dayong showed a challenging smile. He said whether Hyunjun had lost his mind, he threw harsh words at Hyojun. Gangu Choi was still trying to hold Hyunjun back. He asked him not to make a fuss anymore. But Hyunjun didn't respond. He told Dayong whether Dayong knew how miserable Hyunjun's life was because of Dayong and his friends. Dayong didn't care about that. He said, whether Hyunjun thought it was all Dayong's fault. Because according to him, Hyunjun was born a loser. Suddenly, that made Hyunjun unable to control his emotions. He shouted and said that he would kill Dayong right now. Maybe that was fun for Dayong, but Hyunjun really felt like he was going to die every time Dayong bothered him. Hyunjun showed a little smile. He felt like he should thank him. Because if Dayong didn't break his console, then Hyunjun wouldn't have that power now. Dayong was confused, and he still didn't know about the real world or anything. But like Hyunjun really got such power. On the other hand, Gangu Choi's face was very panicked because Dayong knew about it. Dayong asked, didn't Hyunjun also start using other people after Hyunjun got stronger? Because they were all no different? Actually, if the situation was reversed, Hyunjun might be crueler to other kids than him then maybe it was a good thing that Hyunjun was a loser. 
Suddenly what Dayong said made Hyunjun very angry. He couldn't hold back his anger anymore. He threw harsh words at Dayong, but Gangu Choi tried to hold Hyunjun's body that wanted to hit Dayong's body. He asked Hyunjun to calm down, but Hyunjun asked Gang Choi to let him be. Did Gangu Choi listen to what he said to him? Gang Choi told Dayong to leave that place. He held Hyunjun's hand with all his might. Dayong ran towards them both and said, What were they doing? He seemed to want to give Hyunjun a punch. Gang Choi looked at Dayong and screamed very loudly. The punch given by Dayong hit Hyunjun's face right away, suddenly made Gang Choi surprised and thought Dayong had done that. Hyunjun jumped and gave Dayong a hard punch. Dayong managed to hold his body so that he didn't fall. He gave Hyunjun a sly smile. He said what he thought. Hyunjun also had superhuman abilities. But Hyunjun didn't care about what Dayong said. He asked Dayong, so what would Dayong do about it? He gave Dayong another punch. But Dayong managed to avoid the punch given by Hyunjun. Dayong tried to fight him. All the things in the room were thrown and scattered. In the end, they both fought in that place. The kick given by Dayong managed to hit Hyunjun's body. Hyojun's body fell to the floor. Gangu Choi showed a very confused face because he saw the fight in front of him. According to Dayong, Hyunjun is great enough for an adult. He stood tall in front of them both. He asked Hyunjun, even after getting stronger through the real world or whatever. Hyunjun was still weak in fighting. Hyunjun just listened with his body still sitting there. Gangu's face was very scared and thought Hyunjun had just reached level two. According to Gangu Choi, Dayong was very extraordinary. He could make his situation stronger because no one could match his strength at school. He said if his attack was not very good, then the fight would never end. He challenged and saw since Hyunjun got that ridiculous power. He took one of the objects that was near him. Then he said that it was natural that he could use that object to fight Hyunjun. Hyunjun then gave an attack, ate a Dayong. He said not to mess with him, because he wanted to make the Dayong feel pain every day. Dayong thought it was just an ordinary word, words from someone who could never beat him until he got that strange power. He hit Hyunjun using the object. The object hit Hyunjun's body. He felt pain. Dayong was satisfied because Hyunjun felt pain. Then he attacked Hyunjun again. He kicked Hyunjun's body until Gangu Choi screamed because he saw the violence. Dayong stood in front of Heyon and said that Hyunjun deserved it. Dayong would beat Hyunjun to dust, although he might stop hitting him only five times, until Hyunjun told him about the real world. Hyunjun laughed and said that after he leveled up in the real world, he would kill Dayong. So Dayong thought it would be better to teach Hyunjun right now. He hit Hyunjun again with the object in his hand. Hyunjun held him until his body trembled. Gangu Choi prevented him by kicking the object in Dayong's hand. Gangu Choi asked them to stop and talk nicely. The object got stuck up. Dayong felt annoyed. Meanwhile, Kim Yonhui was in the office. She never thought there would be two more real world mobile players in the school. She was sure things would get chaotic, or maybe more interesting. She looked at the picture of Gangu Choi on her phone. She said that Gangu's level was still low, and he hadn't used any status points. She wondered, usually for his strength to be high. He should have five times the SATs he had now, not just his strength. All stats. The amount increased five times more than other people. She was very curious about what was happening to him now. Dayong's body was shaking because he was surprised by Gangu Choi. He asked Gangu Choi what was wrong with his strength. Was he human? Gangu Choi just laughed doubtfully. He admitted that his level was higher than Hyunjun. He allocated his stats better. He also just started to find out about it. Hyunjun, who was beside Gangu Choi, just kept quiet and watched him who was talking. Dayong's body was shaking. He asked Gangu Choi to tell him about the real world. Was that world what made Gangu Choi strong? Or they are both some kind of cyborg now? Hyunjun showed an angry face. He shouted and told Dayong that Dayong had no right to know that. Gangu Choi tried to distract him, because he was not sure to tell it in this place. Dayong threatened them both. No one could leave that place until they told him the truth. If they didn't tell him, then he would make sure to spread it to the media, to find out the ridiculous things they had done. He was sure of that. 
then their lives would be restless. Gangu Choi asked Da Yong to talk about it later. Hyunjun challenged him to do what Da Yong said right now, because Hyunjun would kill Da Yong before spreading it to the media. Suddenly, Kim Yeon Hui came and opened the door. She told Gangu that she asked Gangu Choi and Hyun to come to the office room right now. Suddenly, they were very surprised because of her sudden arrival. She then pulled them both by force. She said that they had to go to the office room right now. But Da Yong pulled Gangu Choi's hand. He told her, Is it because she is the student council president? So she did that casually. He asked her to wait for him because he also had business with the two of them, but she didn't care about what Da Yong said. She told Da Yong to mind his own business. Suddenly, Da Yong didn't accept what she said to him. He asked her, Didn't she see Da Yong who was already there first? If she didn't know, then Da Yong would run the school. Quickly, Kim Yeon Hui punched Da Yong's body. He was thrown far back because of the punch she gave him. Gangu Choi and Hyunjun were very surprised to see the incident in front of them. She gave Da Yong a sharp look. She asked him, couldn't Da Yong understand when she told him that earlier? But there was no response from Da Yong because he sat limply in that place. Then she walked casually. She told Angu Choi that there was something she wanted to tell him. Gangu Choi showed a very nervous face and he answered the words given by she. Gangu Choi asked what she wanted to tell him. She told him that what she wanted to talk about was not about school. He understood. Gangu Choi quickly ran out following Kim Yeon Hui, leaving Hyun Jun and Da Yong who were still unconscious in that place. When they arrived at the intended room, she laughed. Suddenly Gangu Choi thought that she was in good condition. He asked if he did something wrong. She locked the door and said that she didn't do anything wrong, because she just wanted to make sure something. Gangu Choi wondered what she wanted to talk to him about. She opened her cell phone. She told him that she sent something to him. She asked Gangu Choi to accept something she sent. Then Gangu Choi checked his cell phone. Then there was a writing. His friend Kim Yeon Hui asked to invite him to the training room. Gangu Choi still didn't understand. Then he asked she about it. She would explain it later. She asked Gangu Choi to accept the request right now. Gangu Choi followed what Kim Yeon Hui ordered him to do. Then she pressed the accept button on the cell phone screen. Suddenly there was a very bright light that penetrated Gangu Choi's cell phone screen. Until the light penetrated outside the school window wall. Then the atmosphere near Gangu Choi became dark. He had closed his eyes. After that, Gangu Choi asked her, what was happening now? He also asked where they were. Kim Yeon Hui told Gangu Choi that they were now in the training room. That was the place Gangu Choi entered when he wanted to check his status, or just to practice. Gangu Choi could also enter with players who were registered as his friends. Gangu Choi understood, but he was still curious why they were now in that place. She asked Gangu Choi before they said, if Gangu Choi had remaining status points, then he had to allocate them now. Gangu Choi would do what she said, but he still asked why they were suddenly in that place. Kim Yeon Hui said that there was no special reason for that. He just wanted to fight fully and fight Gangu Choi. She asked he that they both didn't want the school to be destroyed. Kim Yeon Hui was ready to fight Gangu Choi. Suddenly it made Gangu Choi very surprised. Gangu Choi didn't expect why she did that to him suddenly. He asked why Kim Yeon Hui wanted to fight him. Had Gwangu Choi made a mistake? Kim Yeon Hui said that she would attack Gangu Choi in five seconds. If he hadn't used the stat points, then she suggested that it would be better to use them now. Gangu Choi still asked if what Kim Yeon Hui said was serious. Kim Yeon Hui ignored what Gangu Choi asked. She started counting from five. After counting to one, she ran very fast towards Gangu Choi's body. Gangu Choi tried to avoid and run away, but he failed to avoid the attack given by Kim Yeon Hui. Her punch hit Gangu Choi's body right away, which is Kim Yeon Hui at level 32. She is still trying to defeat Gangu Choi. She jumped up and headed towards Gangu Choi, who was below. Suddenly, Gangu Choi was very surprised to see she. She asked Gangu Choi to start practicing seriously. If not, Gangu Choi's body would be injured. He asked why she did that. At least she told him the reason. She still didn't give an answer. She hit his face. He felt that she was really going to kill him if he didn't listen to what she said. He didn't know anymore. 
he felt like he could die on the spot. Then he gave her a fight, but she managed to dodge. He asked to stop. She realized something was strange when they fought. They had a 20-level difference, but they were at the same level. But he really had more power than her. Because she had seen it on the game application, his status increased five times more than other people's levels. She attacked Gongu Choi because she wanted to see if it was just a mistake in the application's description. He had some descriptions of cheat codes or bugs that only applied to him. Gangu Choi's status bug increased five times what other people got. Gangu Choi showed a confused and surprised face. Gangu Choi didn't believe it. Why did he get more stats than other people? Kim Yon Hui said that she didn't know either, because she had never met a player like Gangu Choi. Then Gangu Choi just realized it. He remembered the incident when he fought at that time. Gangu increased his STR by only one point and felt very strong after that. That was because Gangu Choi got five times the status of a regular player. Kim Yon Hui just gave him a laughing response. Gangu Choi felt that she laughed very creepily. She suggested to Gangu Choi it would be better for him to join her from now on. She said, Don't let other people know that his status increased five times. Kim Yon Hui gave him a look and smiled. Gangu Choi said, what he meant, the chance that he would meet other players was. She interrupted what he said. She asked Gangu Choi to listen to her first. Don't accept requests from other groups or requests from other people's friends. Gangu Choi was hesitant, but he followed what she said. He said that what was the point of getting stats faster than others? Didn't he have a place to use that power? With the question that Gangu Choi just asked, Kim Yon Hui was sure that he really didn't know anything. Gangu Choi had an easy time with missions and dungeons because his level was still very low. Gangu Choi still got missions like that, running information, or running laps around the neighborhood. But after Gangu increased his level, the missions and dungeons would become more difficult than Gangu Choi imagined. Often Gangu Choi got missions that were impossible alone. Kim Yon Hui told Gangu Choi a few weeks ago she got a mission to climb Mount Everest. Then she got a mission where she had to ride a raft to China. Gangu Choi showed a slightly nervous face because he heard the story that she said. Then Gangu Choi asked if she had to do the mission. Couldn't she ignore or skip it without much trouble? Kim Yon Hui also asked Gangu Choi, did he forget that the game would end if they failed many missions? Gangu Choi was silent. Kim Yon Hui told him again, if Gangu Choi failed the game. Then Gangu Choi couldn't get rewards on the mission anymore. Like getting taller or becoming more attractive, there are many amazing prizes that Gangu Choi can't get in real life. Gangu Choi just remembered it. Kim Yon Hui gave Gangu Choi a compliment. She admitted that Gangu Choi was really amazing in the game. She asked if he really let the game over in the real world mobile. Because it was an amazing game that people only dreamed of being a part of. Gangu Choi was silent. He stared with a serious look at her who was explaining it. She held Gangu Choi's shoulder. She said, now that all that is over, she will move. They both will try to do the best of it. Gangu Choi just agreed with what she said to him. Then Kim Yon Hui said that they would be back soon. Suddenly Gangu Choi didn't expect that the reason she invited him was just to say something like that. But according to Kim Yon Hui, it was a very important discussion. After that, they both managed to return to school. However, Gangu Choi still felt strange about his journey earlier. Kim Yon Hui asks Gangu Choi to get used to traveling between real worlds. The light was temporary, and it wouldn't hurt Gangu Choi, even if he stared at it. Gangu Choi just realized what happened to his class. Kim Yon Hui told him not to worry, because she was more careful. The time didn't change, but it felt like they were in that room for more than ten minutes. Be it the dungeon or the training room. Time stopped in that world when they went to the other world. Or maybe it was more accurate to say that time had slowed down in the world. Gangu Choi just found out about it. When Gangu Choi entered the beginner's dungeon, the time was still the same when he returned. Kim Yon Hui told Gangu Choi it was very comfortable if he spent time alone, or if Gangu Choi wanted to cram for the exam. Gangu Choi asked her, What was her secret to getting high scores? Kim Yon Hui said that she used the room very cleverly. Also, her grades were already good, 
even before she had access to the real world. Kim Yonhui gave Gangu Choi a sharp look. He laughed hesitantly. She told him that she had to leave soon. She told Gangu Choi to meet again after school and enter the dungeon together. Gangu Choi did not respond to answer her. That made she feel a little annoyed. She stared at his face at close range. She asked him to say something. After being in the classroom, Gangu Choi did not pay attention to the teacher who was standing in front of him. He fell asleep and closed his eyes. Suddenly, Hyeon Jun, who was in the front seat, stared sharply at Gangu Choi. Gangu Choi opened his eyes and looked back at Hyeon Jun. Gangu Choi thought there was something different with Hyeon Jun. Why was Hyeon Jun angry with him, and not to mention Dai Yong? Gangu Choi felt he could understand both of those things. But why was Ji Seon looking at him like that? He thought if there was something strange about his appearance now, he felt that she didn't want to be friends with Gangu Choi. Gangu Choi was increasingly doubtful. Why did she look at him like that? He couldn't focus on the class at all. Gangu Choi was very scared. He even thought about transferring to another school. The school bell rang. The teacher in their class told his students in the class not to forget to do their homework. When the teacher left, Dai Yong shouted very loudly and called Gangu Choi's name. He asked Gangu Choi to stay where he was and tell him something about the real world. Then Hyun Jun also ran after Gangu Choi out of the classroom. Gangu Choi asked them all to leave him alone. In the end, the three of them ran, and the students near them watched them. Gangu Choi stopped in front of the student council office door. Hyun Jun and Dai Yong also stopped in front of the office. Hyun Jun immediately remembered the incident when he was defeated by Kim Yon Hui. Dai Yong was the same. He didn't dare to enter the room. Gangu Choi immediately entered the office. There was Kim Yon Hui in the office. She asked why he was in such a hurry. Can't wait to enter the dungeon. Gangu Choi took a deep breath. He said that it wasn't the problem. She asked again if they wanted to enter the middle level dungeon. Suddenly, Gangu Choi was surprised because his level was low. But she asked Gangu Choi not to worry about it, because he was with her and his level was not important. So have fun and level up. He felt that his current situation was very annoying. In a room, Yan Hui was seen sitting together with Gang Wu Choi. On this occasion, Yan Hui told him that she had sent a party request to Gang Wu Choi. So he must accept it happily. Hearing that he immediately said yes to the words of Yan Hui. On the cell phone screen, she immediately clicked the register button. Finally, the party has been formed. With this, Yan Hui is very happy because everything can run smoothly without any obstacles. After everything was done, she invited Gang Wu Choi to enjoy this game and then come back later. Gang Wu Choi's eyes only looked up to pay attention to the portal he saw. Above the sky, there is a red light like an eye that burns very brightly. A few moments later showed a strange place with irregular poles that stood firmly. In this place, Gang Wu Choi and Yan Hui stood observing the surroundings. After seeing the atmosphere, Gang Wu Choi could tell that this was an intermediate dungeon. The difference was very clear because this dungeon was not like the beginner's dungeon. As it was known, the beginner dungeon had more flavor than Rocky Mountain. Moreover, he had experience in the beginner's dungeon having fought a ferocious bear there. Hearing the story of that experience according to Yan Hui, every dungeon terrain changes when entered. In this intermediate dungeon, there seems to be only a desert visible to the eye. Gang Wu Choi just found out that the reality that exists in every dungeon is like that. Usually for the average player, there is a separate way to complete this intermediate dungeon. First, everyone must reach level 2-5 as the minimum. But Yan Hui this time will directly share her mission with Gang Wu Choi. He is still very curious whether Yan Hui's plan will run smoothly or not. Currently, she has gained five times more ability than the usual player. This is known according to the calculations that have been done. Yan Hui wanted to see for herself the slime hunting party in this intermediate dungeon. After that, they both looked up at the sky simultaneously to see what would happen. Gang Wu Choi's face was immediately curious because this was related to the mission in the middle dungeon. So in this place, the slime hunt will be carried out as many as 30. Without waiting for a long time, the slime immediately appeared near the two of them. 
It looks like the slime that appears has started to appear a lot with a bright orange color. Gang Wu Choi didn't expect the arrival of this slime to scare him so much. Gang Wu Choi's face did not stop being scared because the slimes came in large numbers. While Yan Hui saw this slime casually, even said welcome to the monster. She immediately launched the action by climbing onto one of the poles. Meanwhile, Gang Wu Choi, who tried to avoid slimes near his feet. The appearance of this slime really made him helpless to provide any resistance. Afterward, he looked back near the pole. It turned out that Yan Hui was gone. But there was a voice of Shi who asked Gang Wu Choi to handle half of the slime. Hearing that really made him surprised if he had to kill half of this terrible slime. Suddenly, Yan Hui's body was already on top of the pole, sitting relaxed. This time, she only planned to watch, so Gang Wu Choi had to finish everything well. Gang Wu Choi immediately shouted loudly when he saw Yan Hui upstairs. Yan Hui, who was having fun, asked Gang Wu Choi to try to handle all of this by himself, without any help. In this intermediate dungeon, he must show his great ability properly. Not yet doing anything, he already screamed in fear to face the slime. Forced, he will fight all these slimes using his own strength. While trying to deal with the slimes, he endlessly kept screaming loudly because he was attacked. This made him really very tormented because he didn't know how many slimes were attacking at once. From above, Yan Hui asked him to be careful because it would hurt if he was hit by a floating item. Then one of the slimes came, wanting to lunge at Gang Wu Choi's body in front, seeing that he looked overwhelmed because he was confused about what to do. The attack happened again, making Gang Wu Choi extremely tormented. In Gang Wu Choi's vision, he had no idea how far the slime could fly into the air. In addition, he also never thought that the slime in this dungeon moved very fast and had quite great strength. For a moment, he could only be silent in a precarious situation like this. Yan Hui gave advice to Gang Wu Choi not to underestimate the abilities possessed by the slime. Although slimes look like weak monsters, their abilities are stronger than expected. Slime does have a cute little body. But you have to care about every slime that appears. One of the slimes has a level 2-5, which is a high level. Gang Wu Choi doesn't know much about this slime at all. Now he is focusing on avoiding every slime that comes close to him. Surprisingly, his feet got into the slime body below. Gang Wu Choi immediately panicked when he wanted to release his legs but couldn't. His feet were trapped in the slime body. This is because he accidentally stepped on the slime body. When his feet were trapped, Gang Wu Choi also got an attack from another slime. In the attack, he was really very overwhelmed to deal with all this. Even Gang Wu Choi was still moaning in pain from the slime. After dealing with slimes for a long time, Gang Wu Choi felt that his level was still low. When you want to attack slime, it never lands on target. It feels like the deadly attack that was carried out never worked at all. While Yan Hui, who is still sitting on the pole, sees he is in trouble when hunting slimes. She asked Gang Wu Choi for permission to give her useful tips on catching the right slime. Gang Wu Choi quickly looked up to listen to the words of Yan Hui. According to Yan Hui, it will be very difficult to strategize because the slime's regular attacks are not very strong. In addition, he must pay attention to the slime in non-combat mode and then pay attention to the inner core. Gang Wu Choi should attack the slime properly. First, he must hit the slime's body deeply before it hardens, then use magic or attack with a weapon. Instantly, one of the slimes immediately gave a sudden attack. Gang Wu Choi claimed not to know anything about magic. Then, Gang Wu Choi also did not understand what weapon Yan Hui meant to fight the slimes. He immediately fell silent as a notification appeared on the screen. There are items that are recommended as weapons, namely wood. If you think about it some time ago, he had seen the item. On the cell phone screen, Gang Wu Choi immediately looked for the wood item that he would use. Without lingering, he immediately clicked on the wood item. Quickly, a wooden item immediately appeared according to his request. After being seen clearly, Gang Wu Choi's hand immediately gripped the wood tightly. This wood will be used to give attacks to the slimes nearby. Fierce attacks have been carried out. Repeatedly, he relentlessly delivers blows. With the help of this wooden item, Gang Wu Choi felt the greatness that appeared by itself. Now he can experience firsthand the use of wooden items in order to kill slimes. 
Gang Wu Choi is no longer desperate to challenge the slimes to fight with him. Gang Wu Choi's body was already using the old Club Star Plus Two. As expected before, Gang Wu Choi himself is a man with level 8. While the slimes are at level 2-5, it is very easy to defeat. This is thanks to the ability to be 5 times higher than the average user. So it is certain that the ability possessed by Gang Wu Choi is now very similar to someone who is at level 40. On top of the pole, Yan Hui could only observe the situation that was happening below. Gang Wu Choi continued to attack and wanted to finish off the slimes with his own abilities. Every slime that dared to approach him was immediately given a deadly blow. He asked this slime to immediately return to where it came from. A few moments later, the situation in the middle dungeon. Gang Wu Choi, who was still standing, looked around and made sure that this hunt was over. The slimes have also died as a result of getting a deadly attack. Finally, Yan Hui went downstairs and clapped her hands, praising him who was very extraordinary. Suddenly something happened in Gang Wu Choi's hand. He looked up, and a bright light appeared. In that intermediate dungeon, Gang Wu Choi was really proud of himself for leveling up. His face was really radiant because he was very excited. Yan Hui was also curious how many levels Gang Wu Choi had gotten now. He quickly opened his cell phone to check. It turns out that Gang Wu Choi's level is now 17. He didn't expect that his level had risen that high from before. For the achievement of the level increase, he was very grateful because he had fought a large number of slimes. Initially, Gang Wu Choi hunted slimes in this intermediate dungeon with a low level. It seems very impossible for most players to be able to defeat monsters if the level is lower. The success achieved is thanks to Yan Hui's party. Gang Wu Choi will also not be able to enter this intermediate dungeon with a fairly low level. Even when Yan Hui defeats a hundred slimes, the level will not be able to rise. But it is different from Gang Wu Choi if he receives the same experience points, even though the level is low. So now, it is worth being grateful that Gang Wu Choi managed to level up. She wondered if they would allocate the stats that Gang Wu Choi received again later. Gang Wu Choi asked if the allocation should be done right now. Yan Hui wants it to be done right now. She would also never know what the worst possibility would happen in this game, so the effect of the stat allocation will be felt immediately. Gang Wu Choi opened his cell phone again while asking which statistics he should increase. After knowing what to do, he immediately pressed one of the buttons on his cell phone screen. It can be admitted that raising the level quickly feels like this self is so great. This is none other than because he can increase statistics at once. Gang Wu Choi feels like he is really playing online games. After that, he informed Yan Hui that he had clicked everything he wanted. Surprisingly, Yan Hui immediately reacted like a person who wanted to give a punch. Meanwhile, Gang Wu Choi still didn't move to avoid the attack. Gang Wu Choi's cheeks were already red, then she mercilessly gave a fierce attack. In this attack, she didn't say anything, and only looked at Gang Wu Choi's face. Gang Wu Choi's cheek was hit by a powerful blow from Yan Hui's foot until his nose was bleeding. When she wanted to give another punch, she looked surprised because something strange was happening. When she wanted to land the punch, Yan Hui didn't succeed in delivering her attack. Gang Wu Choi's body quickly dodged even though it had to fall over. The movement of Yan Hui's attack was obviously slower than usual, so it was easier for Gang Wu Choi to avoid it. The attack did not stop there. Yan Hui was still ambitious to fight until he approached Gang Wu Choi again. Her movements are agile and good, but Gang Wu Choi can nimbly avoid them well. The attack is still going on fiercely. The only thing Gang Wu Choi can do now is to avoid it as much as possible. After the fight lasted long enough, she managed to hit the body part of the Gang Wu Choi. Then she landed on the ground. Gang Wu Choi's face still looked frightened by the action carried out by Yan Hui. When the fight stopped for a moment, Yan Hui said that the current incident was really very amazing. Then she stood up and would suffice this fight. She felt that the attack she did could not land properly so, it would be useless if it continued. Currently Yan Hui herself is level 3-2, which is a much higher level than Gang Wu Choi. Gang Wu Choi said that he didn't throw any punches earlier, but he wondered how Yan Hui could run up and start beating him fiercely. His face was immediately upset because the punch he got hurt so much. Yan Hui told him that Gang Wu Choi had been hit hard, and all he felt was pain. If Gang Wu Choi's current normal level is 17, then he will die. 
But even though level 17, he has not suffered any severe injuries until now, but only ordinary pain. If you think seriously about what will happen if you die in this dungeon. Gang Wu Choi is very curious about what will happen until he asks Yan Hui's opinion. Hearing that question, she explained about the real world dungeon might feel like being in another world. But all of this is reality, whether it's in a dungeon or on a mission. If Gang Wu Choi dies, then he will also die in real life. When knowing that fact, he could only laugh. Yan Hui said that we have now completed the intermediate dungeon well, so it's time to check the mission reward and return to the original place. On the system screen, she immediately checked the reward from the mission in this intermediate dungeon. The prize obtained turned out to be a trainee necklace. Gang Wu Choi immediately confirmed whether this necklace was a reward for completing the mission in this dungeon. He immediately grinned and confirmed that Yan Hui must like this trainee necklace. Yan Hui didn't need the necklace at all. To her, the item she got was just trash. So, it's better for Gang Wu Choi to take it as a gift. Gang Wu Choi continued to laugh while mentioning Yan Hui. There is one thing that he wants to know. Why did Yan Hui increase her level and then provide help? Yan Hui is willing to do all this because Gang Wu Choi is a con artist who has five times the ability of other people. If Yan Hui intervenes to complete this dungeon, then there will be missions that she can't do alone. With cooperation, the two of us will quickly complete it and then level up. The rest, Yan Hui believes that slowly Gang Wu Choi will definitely understand later. Not only that in this game, leveling up becomes more difficult along with the progress experienced by Gang Wu Choi later. Without having to linger anymore in this intermediate dungeon, she immediately invited Gang Wu Choi to immediately return to the original world. Yan Hui immediately clicked on the question in the system so she could return. They both went straight to the real world through a red portal in the sky. In one of the buildings, precisely a room, the bodies of Gang Wu Choi and Yan Hui immediately arrived. When he arrived, he was still not used to the flash that brought his body to move from place to place although he may have seen flashes of light several times. Look at the clock on the wall. Indeed, time in this case does not pass in reality. Now Gang Wu Choi will open his cell phone again to check. Visible on the screen of his cell phone, there are wooden items and trainee necklaces obtained as prizes. Gang Wu Choi himself has increased an extraordinary level to be able to get new items in a short time. He actually still doesn't believe he can get all this without expectation. Then Yan Hui said that the meeting would suffice for this afternoon. She now has to go to school to study. Likewise, Gang Wu Choi is planning to go home. She offered Gang Wu Choi to leave together if he wanted to go too. It turned out that in front of the door there were already two men coming. Yan Hui immediately asked if there was something wrong with them. Previously, she remembered clearly that these two men had disturbed her. Yan Hui wanted to know what these two men were going to do here. Dae Yong said that he had something important to talk to Gang Wu Choi about this afternoon. Something happened in front of the door because Gang Wu Choi immediately broke through, wanting to leave as quickly as possible. Dae Yong quickly blocked him because he knew Gang Wu Choi would run away when he wanted to meet him. Then the other colleague also asked Gang Wu Choi to stop. With this action, Dae Yong immediately gave a threat. If Gang Wu Choi doesn't give an answer, then he won't be able to go anywhere freely. Hyun Jun saw with his own eyes like there was something different from Gang Wu Choi. Whereas just a few minutes ago, the atmosphere immediately changed. Hyun Jun didn't know exactly what was going on all this time. Gang Wu Choi was still trying to find a way to escape from these two people. When they were both caught off guard, Gang Wu Choi quickly apologized and then ran fast. The atmosphere in a room, all the items are seen laughing very neatly. Currently, Gang Wu Choi has returned from school. His mother immediately welcomed the arrival of he who had come home. She was sure that Gang Wu Choi had worked hard today and offered him to eat first. But Gang Wu Choi wasn't hungry at all. He felt that he was very tired, so he would take a shower and then rest, so that his body would get better. Gang Wu Choi also told her that he was really busy today. When he was about to go to his room, his mother immediately called his name. Actually, she just wanted to make sure that nothing bad happened at school today. Hearing that question, Gang Wu Choi told her that nothing happened, everything was under control. 
After knowing that answer, she immediately laughed and said that she was just asking questions without any intention. His mother immediately told Gang Wu Choi to go to rest. Gang Wu Choi's face immediately worried seeing his mother ask like that. He immediately held both of his mother's hands and assured her not to worry. The point is that at school earlier, nothing bad happened. Even the incident with the children was the last time during the accident. As usual, Gang Wu Choi also won't cause any problems. So he doesn't want to see his mother worried anymore. After that, his mother really felt calm because Gang Wu Choi had told her directly. She immediately rubbed her eyes. She was so anxious because Gang Wu Choi seemed to have changed a lot lately. Once again, he asked his mother not to worry. He also apologized for causing so much anxiety to his mother. A few moments later, the situation in Gang Wu Choi's room was seen. Currently, Gang Wu Choi is sitting at his study table and busy writing something in his book. It wasn't long before his phone rang. He just realized that now he has returned to real life. The incoming phone was immediately picked up by Gang Wu Choi. A woman's voice was heard speaking. She said that she was Rika from the Real World Mobile. In the video call, Rika told Gang Wu Choi that there was no mission at school today. Therefore, she believes that Gang Wu Choi must miss her. Hearing those words, he admitted that he didn't miss Rika. If she continues to bother Gang Wu Choi, then he will go crazy. When she heard that answer, she was shocked. Even so, Rika was very amazed because suddenly Gang Wu Choi's level increased drastically to 17. She seriously wanted to know if something had happened to Gang Wu Choi before. Gang Wu Choi was immediately surprised by the question from Rika. Rika really didn't expect that in one day Gang Wu Choi's level could rise so high. Gang Wu Choi got nervous and confirmed if Rika was talking to him now. To be honest, he had felt all along that there was some kind of communication going on between the two of them. Furthermore, Rika wanted to convey the reason why she was making a video call at this time because of a mission. Therefore, she asked Gang Wu Choi for permission to let her tell this mission first. The mission to be carried out today is to cooperate with friends and clean the dungeon. If the mission is successful, Gang Wu Choi will get a random item box as a reward. After knowing this mission from Rika, Gang Wu Choi felt that it had been done together with Senior Yan Hui while at school. Gang Wu Choi really felt annoyed to experience something like this again. In his heart, he really wanted to ignore this mission, so as not to follow it. Meanwhile, if the mission failed, then a box of stupidity that can cause baldness in the head will be provided. Hearing the explanation from Rika made he very surprised. If you fail to carry out the mission, then baldness will occur. According to he, such punishment is very excessive. Rika can't wait to invite him to fight through the mission that will be carried out today. On the cell phone screen, he saw a flash of light, after which a notification appeared that he had to complete the dungeon mission by forming a group within the time limit given for six hours. Gang Wu Choi immediately complained that the mission to be carried out was very ridiculous. This is because he feels that he has been forced to be able to complete the dungeon mission. His mind is still imagining the punishment of baldness because it is very hard to accept. Then the sound of Gang Wu Choi's cell phone rang again. He wondered who was calling him again. When viewed on the screen, there is no name of the person calling. Only the cell phone number is listed. Although this number is unknown to him, the number seems recognizable. Without thinking too long, he immediately picked up the phone and asked. There was a female voice that immediately asked if this was Gang Wu Choi. He was immediately confused about who the woman who called him was. Gang Wu Choi asked again what this woman's name was. Then she asked back if he couldn't recognize her voice. Until this moment, he is still wondering because this woman's voice sounds familiar in his ears. The woman who called confidently said that he liked her. She honestly felt that she was disappointed of Gang Wu Choi. When she found out that the woman who called her was Lim Jisun, hearing that, she was very happy that he finally knew her now. Actually, the purpose of her calling has something to say. Previously, Gang Wu Choi had admitted it to Lim Ji Soon. Her face immediately worried when he hung up on this ongoing call. Her emotions are getting out of control when she knows this conversation is trivial. 
Gang Wu Choi had the heart to hang up when she wanted to talk about something important. Even as her anger grew, she would kill a bastard like Gang Wu Choi. On the other hand, he was in his room still not expecting Lim Ji Soon to call him. He looked very sorry to pick up the phone. Therefore, without thinking, he immediately turned off his phone so that the conversation would not get longer. He still continues to brood in his room. That's when Gang Wu Choi immediately got angry because Lim Ji Soon called him. He shouldn't have given any response to the woman's words like that. Meanwhile, Lim Ji Soon, who still looks annoyed with Gang Wu Choi for not giving any answer to that important matter, that way, he immediately took action to find out where Gang Wu Choi lived. On a beautiful night, you can see the atmosphere in the playground. Yan Hui, who was at the same location, questioned why Gang Wu Choi asked to have a meeting at this time. She became curious if he was in trouble, so asked for her help. Yan Hui immediately teased him, then said that if he was infatuated with her, charm eating would cause death. Gang Wu Choi was immediately upset because the problem experienced was not about Yan Hui. At this meeting, Gang Wu Choi told Shi that there was a mission to be carried out by forming a party and then going to the dungeon. Now there is still plenty of time to think about this. But the thing that he didn't want when he failed the mission was that the punishment would be a bald head. Hearing that Yan Hui laughed very loudly. Gang Wu Choi immediately asked her to stop laughing as if insulting like that. Now it would be much better if Yan Hui came to help. In this case, he is very serious. That way she will be serious and stop laughing when she hears the bald head punishment. While talking seriously, Yan Hui asked if we should try the intermediate dungeon with the hard mode that only allowed players above level 30. So with that, she was very sure that Gang Wu Choi could increase his status five times more than usual. He in his heart felt very unlucky for the advice said by Yan Hui. Furthermore, she also wanted the party to be approved immediately. In the end, the agreement was made. She immediately invited him to start immediately. A portal has been seen above the sky. In an instant, they both have moved places. When they arrived at the destination, Yan Hui told them that this was the atmosphere in the high-level intermediate dungeon. He immediately remembered that Yan Hui had actually been to this dungeon. Yan Hui denied that he was also here for the first time. She could enter this place because she was already at level 30, but she was still in her early 30s, so it would be risky for her own safety. Therefore, Yan Hui also had anxiety about being here. Moments later, there was an earthquake that made the pillars in this dungeon shake. There was a flaming red eye figure that was very scary. Yan Hui and Gang Wu Choi immediately showed a very scared face. The towering cliffs and pillars in the medium high dungeon were very tense. Great vibrations are still felt very strong in that place. There is a green monster figure walking carrying a weapon in his hand. With his own eyes, Gang Wu Choi saw that the monsters who came in this dungeon were orc troops. He was immediately curious and asked Yan Hui how strong the orcs who arrived were. When asked about orcs, she claimed not to know at all about how much power the orcs had. He was immediately upset when he found out that there were terrible orcs in this place. As Yan Hui had said, if you die in the dungeon, you will also experience the same thing in real life. The place he entered was a 20 sati dungeon, where only someone who has reached level 30 can enter here. Yan Hui had originally planned to come here when his level was 40 or higher. In other words, this exploration is the first time Yan Hui has done precisely in the basement. His face was immediately angry. Why could Yan Hui take him to such a terrible place because there were many orcs? Yan Hui has a reason because she believes in the power possessed by Gang Wu Choi. He, in Yan Hui's view, has a strong character so he can solve a problem. Gang Wu Choi still doesn't really believe Yan Hui who praises his abilities. You can see the orcs that are raging like they want to pounce. Several orcs immediately came running with very scary faces. Seeing the orcs made Gang Wu Choi immediately scream in fear. Meanwhile, Yan Hui was busy opening his cell phone. One of the orcs gave an attack to Gang Wu Choi. The situation in the dungeon is getting tense because he has to deal with orcs directly. When she saw Gang Wu Choi fighting with orcs, Yan Hui didn't want to stay silent. She immediately took action and had prepared a weapon to kill the orcs here. She started the action very agile, even jumping to the high pole just for the sake of giving an attack to the orcs. 
When observed well, Yan Hui began to feel overwhelmed. It turned out that the attacks carried out by these orcs were too fast, plus there were so many of them. At first, she thought that coming to this dungeon with level 30 would still be safe. Yan Hui seemed to be struggling very hard to kill the orcs in front of her. There was one orc whose shoulder was directly stabbed by Shi until the blood came out very much. The situation in this dungeon is getting more and more chaotic as Yan Hui is getting more and more furious to kill orcs. From behind, there was one orc secretly wanting to kill her, but she quickly realized it and attacked the orc. Yan Hui landed herself near a pole, then came Gang Wu Choi to make sure that her senior was okay. Despite fighting fiercely, she stated that she would not die easily. But her heart said otherwise. Fighting an army of orcs alone was impossible. Yan Hui wants to know the current state of Gang Wu Choi. If he is fine, then it is recommended to try to fight with the orcs. He will sincerely try to attack the orc troops. There is one wearing different clothes and weapons from other troops. This orc was looking at another orc who had died from a sadistic attack. Then, this orc shouted loudly because he was very angry. While Gang Wu Choi was still observing the orc, he was going to fight now. Afterward, he stated that he could handle the orc. He immediately ran towards one of the terrible orcs with the red axe weapon. The fierce battle started again between players and orcs in the high-level intermediate dungeon. Yan Hui really didn't expect to see the battle carried out by Gang Wu Choi was very strong. Gang Wu Choi's mouth immediately grinned because he had felt the power after being hit once before. He still launched his action to fight with the orc. According to him, the orc faced now is indeed too difficult for him. Even so, it will not be able to fade the spirit to keep fighting. While the fight was still going on, he realized that he didn't have any skills because he was still at level 17. So, conquering this mid-level dungeon monster was done by Gang Wu Choi just by relying on his status alone. Yan Hui was still observing the ongoing battle. Gang Wu Choi launched his action vigorously, so that the orc would be defeated quickly. His last attack was really very deadly. A few moments later, the orcs in this dungeon were all helpless. Gang Wu Choi's face was bowed down. It seemed that in his hand there was an object used as a weapon. The events in this dungeon could not be expected by Gang Wu Choi. Even though he was still below level 20, he had managed to defeat all the orc troops with all the strength he had mustered. Yan Hui gave praise that a man like Gang Wu Choi was very great. The system immediately informed that the killing of the orc army had been successfully completed. Yan Hui immediately jumped for joy because she had successfully conquered the monsters in the intermediate dungeon. She also turned out to be leveling up now at level 33. From the beginning, level 30 was very difficult to get experience points from a mission. But now Yan Hui has just leveled up in one mission in this dungeon. In addition, Gang Wu Choi is also happy because he leveled up twice. It is possible that the level increase occurred because he played an intermediate dungeon too when he was level 17. Yan Hui confirmed Gang Wu Choi's words. By continuing to do dungeon exploration together as well as tackling difficult missions together will be much easier to do. In addition, she would also level up continuously and quickly. This excitement was really very pleasant. Yan Hui hugged Gang Wu Choi's body tightly. With people like him, Yan Hui can become a maximum level player for the first time in the real world. It feels like this is really lucky to be experienced. She wonders why people like Gang Wu Choi have only appeared recently. Gang Wu Choi's body felt very tormented. He didn't know what had possessed Yan Hui to act like this. Instantly, his face turned red. Then she said that she was just joking. Then, after everything was over, Yan Hui said that this mission had no reward. So she asked Gang Wu Choi first if he wanted to go straight back. Gang Wu Choi thought that everything done here was part of the game but he felt a little disappointed because there was no prize given. After that, they both lamb, immediately changed places using the portal. While it was still night, Gang Wu Choi and Yan Hui had arrived at the playground. He opened his cell phone screen and saw that his level had now risen to 25. Since his level had risen higher, he decided that the mission experience points section would not be increased. Then Yan Hui said that today the two of us had gone through a difficult thing. Therefore, she will invite Gang Wu Choi to cooperate when there is a mission in the dungeon again. 
so now she will go back to her usual studies. Gang Wu Choi will also return to his house to rest after doing missions in the dungeon. After she left, he looked at his cell phone again. His face was immediately anxious, as if something had happened that could not be said. At night, it was very beautiful, showing the atmosphere in the residential area. The playground is also very quiet. No one appears except Gang Wu Choi. He became confused about what was actually happening on his cell phone screen. He even questioned what the purpose behind all this was. It was clearly seen that Lim Jisun sent a message to Gang Wu Choi. In the content of the message, she will come to where Gang Wu Choi is now, then ask him to be at home, because when he arrives, Lim Jisun will be waiting outside the house. Gang Wu Choi really didn't know if she came on orders from Dae Yong. He continues to suspect that in this way, Dae Yong can disturb his peace. For this, Gang Wu Choi couldn't figure out why Dae Yong could do all this. He's face immediately sluggish due to the behavior of Lim Jisun and Dae Yong. The night was calm and quiet, and it turned out that Lim Jisun had arrived at her destination while waiting for Gang Wu Choi. After waiting for a long time, she immediately opened her cell phone and asked why Gang Wu Choi had not appeared in front of her until this moment. Even worse, his phone was not answered. Lim Jisun wondered what Gang Wu Choi was really doing. All messages sent by she had actually been read directly by he, but still ignored none of them responded. Her face was very upset because she didn't see Gang Wu Choi and made her wait a long time alone. Gang Wu Choi was already in the same location and peeked behind the plant. Seeing Lim Jisun on the terrace made him very disgusted. On this night, he really didn't know what to do because Lim Jisun was so angry. Even more surprising was that Lim Jisun knew her home address, not knowing where she got it from. Now she has to stay undercover again. That way Lim Jisun will surely get tired of waiting and leave this place. Near the yard post, Lim Jisun was still very upset and promised to keep waiting for Gang Wu Choi to come out. Her face showed a lot of anger. She can't wait to see who will win in this matter until the end. Lim Jisun doesn't know what Gang Wu Choi is really going through to ignore him like this. While he was still hiding behind the plant, his sister unexpectedly came while calling. Seeing his sister appear, he felt unlucky why under these circumstances he had to meet with Lim Jisun. Lim Jisun, who was near the pole, carefully watched the woman passing in front of her while making a phone call and eating ice cream. Afterward, his sister Choi pressed the button to enter the house. Lim Jisun came in and politely asked her if she was part of the Gang Wu Choi family. Hearing that question, Gang Wu Choi's sister immediately confirmed it and asked back who the woman who came at night was. Lim Jisun told her that she was a friend of Gang Wu Choi. After knowing that her brother's friend came, she also told her that she was the older sister of Gang Wu Choi. She wants to know if Lim Jisun's arrival has any interest with her brother. Lim Jisun said that she was here to look for Gang Wu Choi, who never replied to her messages. Moreover, she didn't pick up the phone from Lim Jisun. Knowing that, her brother immediately suspected that this beautiful woman was Gang Wu Choi's lover but she wondered why her sister had a beautiful lover who could be ignored like someone who wanted to avoid. His sister immediately laughed and didn't know why Gang Wu Choi could act like that. After talking for a while, she asked Lim Jisun to go inside and eat chicken while waiting for Gang Wu Choi to come home. With this offer, Lim Jisun was very happy that she was allowed to go inside. Gang Wu Choi, who was still hiding, was even more upset because his sister gave Lim Jisun permission to enter the house. His sister gladly allowed a beautiful woman like Lim Jisun to enter the house. Surely her younger brother would come home soon. Gang Wu Choi quickly took action to meet his sister and Lim Jisun in the courtyard outside. He immediately grabbed Lim Jisun's hand and pulled her by force. Seeing the shocking scene in front of her, Gang Wu Choi's sister wondered if maybe her brother and his lover were having a big fight. The atmosphere of the night is getting late. Gang Wu Choi and Lim Ji Soon arrived at the playground tired. She didn't expect to be invited to run away that fast by Gang Wu Choi. She thinks that he came quickly like a superman. Then she got angry because he had ignored all the messages. Lim Ji Soon believes that Gang Wu Choi deliberately hid somewhere and suddenly came out. 
Gang Wu Choi, who panicked, immediately explained that all of her accusations were untrue. But before that, he wanted to know why Lim Jisun was willing to come all the way just to meet him at home. She explained angrily that everything was done because he had ignored all the messages sent. Hearing that reason, Gang Wu Choi felt uncomfortable when he knew that she contacted him just to play around. That's why he didn't want to give any answer. Lim Jisun didn't expect that he would take her playfully when he wanted to talk about something serious. She immediately approached his body and wanted to know when he ever had the intention to play around. Gang Wu Choi gave the reason that this might have happened because he himself had hurt Lim Jisun's lover, Dae Yong. Lim Jisun is Dae Yong's lover, so it's only natural that she would be unhappy with Gang Wu Choi. She told him that she was no longer Dae Yong's girlfriend because she broke off the relationship. A weak person like Dae Yong and his bad attitude is no longer attractive in Lim Ji Soon's eyes. Now she thinks that Gang Wu Choi is attracted to her. Not only that he is also a nerdy guy, so there is no need to be embarrassed when she is with Gang Wu Choi in the future. Another advantage he is very good at fighting. Even she intends to take Gang Wu Choi out together, even if only once. Hearing all that made Gang Wu Choi even more surprised. In his mind, he wondered if Lim Ji Soon was really serious with his words. It was actually very difficult for her to express these feelings and then ask Gang Wu Choi for a response. Gang Wu Choi was immediately nervous and confused about what to say to Lim Ji Soon. This time, she really couldn't stand to go out with Gang Wu Choi. Even though she is a popular woman, she can decide to date a fool like Gang Wu Choi. She continues to rebel until she shakes his shoulders, who can no longer stand this kind of behavior. Lim Jisun asks if he has listened to all his wishes now. That's when he decided to run away from the aggressive woman. Seeing he who ran away on purpose made Lim Jisun's heart even more upset. Due to this incident, life at school will become more difficult from now on. After being left away, she was still angry because she still couldn't listen to any answers. Meanwhile, from the back, there was one of his schoolmates who observed this shocking incident. The man wearing the hat told his two colleagues, There are things that cannot be trusted from Lim Ji Soon. He intends to tell all this to Dae Yong. Gang Wu Choi continued to run on the sidewalk to avoid things that made him uncomfortable.